everybody. Have you heard about the Trumpy Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For one dollar per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For five dollars per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For ten dollars per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For fifteen dollars per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For twenty-five dollars per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For thirty-three dollars per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For fifty dollars per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For one hundred dollars per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants podcast, plus you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit Patreon.com/dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants podcast. nothing and then there was the drunken peasants podcast i gotta get a witness no! say man you got a joint uh no not on you man i don't have facts to back this up it'd be a lot cooler if you did <laughs> that's true sometimes i cry Lift my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This is episode 1330. Okay. Doing live. Back again, 1330. That's a nice number, 1330. We're almost at 1333, three, three, which is kind of reminds cool. me. Reminds me of the beautiful Jennifer Garner film, 13 going on 30. Huh. Yeah. I, is that one of those like body changing films where like like a young kid like wakes up one morning and they're an adult or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. She's a 13 year old and then she turns to be 30 and Mark Ruffalo's dating her when she's not 13. I'm there's sure. been there's been a lot of movies with that plot, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, it's similar to Big, right? Big. Uh, there was 18 again. There was like Father, like Son. Uh, there, there was a bunch. Um, that that was so, a reoccurring kind of plot device. Are uh, we gonna bring on every alt right guest we've ever had for episode four? No, 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 no. I don't even <laughs> want to go there. Don't even want to go there. Don't even want to go there. Um, yeah. So. There's a lot going on in the world of the Cobras, uh, so we're going to check that out in just a moment here. Uh, before we do, I want to remind everyone that we do a pre-show before most of the shows, and we just recorded one, and in a few minutes here, it's going to be available in our audio Ooh. podcast feed, so you can go there and check it out after the show is over and you know listen to what we talked about before we went live we talked a little bit about the elisa jordana stuff we talked about uh the stuff we're gonna cover on the show kind of like uh, filling billy in on on some of the other stuff that he might have missed yeah so uh there's that and it's free and it helps support the show so i would recommend that you all uh go check that out plus i'm, I'm guessing before the end of this month we'll have another word vomit episode on the audio feed. yeah yeah so you guys should go check that out because there's a bunch of free extra content and I, I i get it all the time i people tell me i want to support the show but i don't have extra cash times are tough so this is a way you can support the show because we do get paid the more uh plays and downloads we get on the audio feed so if you want to support the show and get some extra free content please do that please go there and, and check it out so uh, now we are going to uh, jump into the world of the Cobraverse. Uh, for those of the people, the, the people in the chat asking for Elisa news, I don't have any new Elisa news, so we'll have to keep an eye on it and check back in with that later. 
All right, here yeah. we go. Time for the Cobra verse. Somewhere in the world today, men have got to stand up strong. JF Gary Epe might have killed OJ Simpson. Oh no. Uh uh rest in peace, OJ Simpson. And it's I know this is an especially hard time for Chloe Kardashian. She's lost three fathers now. At least one of them she gained a mother. We are gonna check out uh all of this Cobra mess. Here here let's let's check out this other part i don't have any videos for it i have this this is actually uh home depot reviews okay so these are anonymous home depot reviews this was posted on june 26th 2016 okay this was pre-trump america right yeah i think so um wow I don't know From if the that Obama times. I don't know if that pertains to anything here, but yeah, it was. So this so this is a review uh, from someone who was shopping at the Virginia Beach location. Earlier this week, my daughter and I were shopping at your Virginia Beach location. My daughter noticed a female employee named Jessica Boyle that she recognized, which is that's G- the J A B. Uh, Queen Cobra J.A.B. So that is Jessica's real name, Jessica Boyle. The only reason my daughter knows this female is because in our fridge. Now that O.J. has tragically passed, will you continue his search for? We'll talk about O.J. later. We'll talk about O.J. later. I will. Thank you for the six dollars. Thank you. The only reason my daughter knows this female is because on October 11th, 2015, Jessica posted my daughter, who was a minor on Craigslist for sex. I am shocked that you allow people who do such terrible things to work for you, especially since she did this to a child. You must not do background checks on your employees, either that or you just don't care. I don't know how a background check would show her Craigslist ad posting history, so that's kind of a dumb comment (laughs) there. But, yeah, I mean, so people are telling me that this means, like, she was trying to traffic minors. I don't take it this way. To me, this is her playing a part. I don't know the history between Jessica and this person, this girl, but it kind of seems like she's, like, pulling some dirty revenge on this girl, being like, ha, now I'm going to put your phone number on this sex site, and you're going to have perverts calling you all the time. That's what I think. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, Anyone who hurts a child like that should not be able to work around children. <laughs> I mean, it's it's Home Depot, so there might be children there, but it's kind of more of an adult place because yeah. children don't normally own homes. <laughs> children but, should be accompanied by adults in Home Depot. Right. They shouldn't be allowed to run around where there's freaking shovels and spears and uh, spears. They have spears. Hey. I think, yeah, I think there's spears, picket no. fencing and stuff. I don't know about spears, but yeah, there's sharp objects for sure. Uh, yeah. But anyway, um, you should know that the central, the cent- I think she means center, but she wrote central for missing and exploited children was contacted and a report was filed. The investigation remains open. Miss Boyle did remove the post, but the damage had already been done. My daughter received tons of calls, text messages, and very inappropriate pictures from men. And I believe this was the goal, not to actually literally traffic this girl. She should uh, not be allowed to work around children of any age where she has the ability 
to one day harm them the way she has my daughter. As I said, either you don't do background checks or you simply don't care. I, You could do the deepest background check ever. You're not going to find this. Yeah. How about this? How about instead of writing a, a anonymous little help complaint, how about you uh, go to the police with your information and get her get her fired or arrested or whatever? Why don't you make it so there's something that comes up on a background check? So uh, this is Jessica's Flickr account, and Ooh. she was the the employee. So this is proof. Jessica did work at the Virginia Beach Home Depot in 2016 and 2015. She was employee of the month at some point. Uh, which I guess when this happens, they sign your apron and then they give it, they frame it and give it to you. Cute. So, uh, so it, it's it's a based on the date and everything. It's a real review, and she probably did do this. This does kind of sound like a scummy, backstabbing kind of way of getting revenge. Is that a dead squirrel? Like, I, what what is wrong with you, Jessica? Is she uh, a taxidermist? I don't think so. I hope that cat's alive. Holy crap. What's that cute outfit she's in there? Cinderella? Home uh, Depot Cinder uh, Snow, Snow White. White? Yeah. There's a cat in a tree. Cat's teeth. They go back pretty far too. She's obsessed with the, the store Lush, apparently. Oh, that's because she posts she a lot was, of these. Probably. Has she has she has she bought any recently? I don't Lush know about is recently. like tactical soap for women. Um what is Glog? I have no idea. These are like a lot of pictures of Bjork everywhere, bath bombs. Well, you know she's obsessed with baths, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. Let's see. Do we go? We go all the way back. These are like way younger pictures of her. What? When is this from? Two thousand eight. Here, she's always been Cobra's girl. That's a Cobra's girl shot right there. How old was Cobra in two thousand eight? Young enough to bleed. The uh, the house here looks like somewhere Cobra might end up living in after he's gotten nope, we kicked know, out of. We know where Cobra's going to end up living, and the reason we know is because she leaked it. Cobra was wow. trying so hard to keep it a secret, but you, Man. if you want to keep a secret, don't tell Jessica. This is the, the clip where she uh, leaks what where Cobra's going to be living. Here it is. I'm not moving into his trailer. I wouldn't be able to fit any of my stuff in there. I'm not moving in there. I'm going to get my own place. And, and, and my question is, why is Wayne from Wayne's World talking about moving into Cobra's trailer? Because it's party time. It's excellent. it's excellent. A few moments later. And then this is her lying about it. I uh, want no Kiwi Farms fucking money. Well, I didn't say nothing about the trailer, so how people know, I don't know, but I didn't say nothing about it, so. Got bad news for you, Jessica. Wayne from Wayne's World said something about it. <laughs> There's a oh, picture. Oh, it's a Clock Tower Dream trailer. Yes. All it, all it needs is its own Quasimodo. Uh, by the way, out there, please like the stream. Uh, liking the stream is very helpful. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And also, we're trying to reach our weekly tip goal. We're a little behind pace from where we were last week. If you want to help us out and send us some nice messages, we will react to them immediately. Just click the link. Send us some Streamlabs. Thank you so much. Uh, here is... Oh, this is when Jessica got trashed the other night and said that her and Cobra were broken up. And I edited this because her boob was about to like pop out of her shirt, and it was it would uh, well. Not only can it not be on YouTube, but none of you want to see it. Well, some of you might be sickos and you might want to see it, but the mad clown wants to see it. Ah. I'm not tripping on anything. How much more do you want to lie to me? Is what I'm asking you. How much more do you want to lie to me? She starts having a total emotional breakdown here. 
I know I'm worthless. I know Aww. I'm not worth anything. She falls Aww. into this like pit of self despair when she she you, should not drink. You think she's BPD? I don't like to diagnose people, so I don't I don't know. I I just think there's there's something weird going on. And when yeah. she gets drunk, it comes out way worse. When she's sober, she's a little more reasonable. Uh, but when she's drunk, that's when like she can't control her emotions. She goes from really sad to really angry, uh, and she can't control it. So, yeah. So quit talking about me. Thanks. I mean, when you're streaming live and you have a chat room, that's kind of what they do is talk about you in your chat room. So stop streaming if you don't like it. I don't know. I know I'm worthless. Oh. I know I'm worthless. She knows. So stop talking about her. Oh, God. Now she's going to play some Bjork. <laughs> gonna skip this a little bit <laughs> she is just like and this was after streaming and drinking for several hours and then i am i know i'm worthless i'm done is she on the worthless loop i'm worthless i'm i'm useless like like my whole life my whole life I, i'm so useless look at her eye <laughs> I know I'm useless. Give everything to Josh. I'm a nobody. And when I disappear from everything, please don't come looking for me. Okay? Yeah, see, this sounds like some weird uh, suicidal baiting here. Like, when I disappear, don't come looking for me. It's It's weird. It's manipulative. I don't like it. But this really only comes out when she's wasted, wasted. Uh, cause you would see, you would see how she would do the, like the Jekyll and Hyde kind of switch when she was staying with Josh, you know, they'd wake up in the morning and they'd be chilling and doing whatever Josh would be like benzoed out, but, but she would just kind of be like, Oh, talking and whatever. But then she'd get drunk and she'd start being like, ah, you know, uh, someone needs to remind her that she was employee of the month at Home Depot. That's not a worthless person. Is Bjork equivalent to Ozzy? Does yes. Mel hate well, Chico's more than she loves Bjork? <laughs> she, uh, she uh, says Bjork is her equivalent to Ozzy, but she does not treat Bjork with the respect that Josh treats Ozzy. <laughs> I bet she can name more Bjork songs than Josh can name Ozzy songs, though. <laughs> Probably. And 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 Ozzy Ozzy has way more songs, by the way. So it should be easier to name more Ozzy songs. I, I seriously don't. Josh needs everything because he means the world. She's like smashing Man. her laptop into things. She's playing danger Jenga. Yeah. I mean, I mean zero to myself. I'm a zero to myself, and he needs... I kind of feel like her parents should pull a Jared's parents and just, like, take the internet away from her. <laughs> It'd probably be the best, th but I think they probably want her to leave. And they're like, oh, if she keeps talking to this dude, she, maybe she'll just go and stay there one of these times. I wonder That's if they her. know, I wonder if they know, like, who Josh is, and if she, if they know that she, like, basically got him kicked out of his apartment and everything... I don't know. Yeah. It's everything to me, and I mean nothing to him. And that's fine. I don't have to mean anything to him. But Yeah, at this point, what I did was zoom in on her a little bit more. But at this point, it's like a third of the titty coming out at this point. Almost nip level, but like not quite enough. But I was still like, uh-uh. So it's not worth it to risk it. I, Plus, I don't, I don't want to subject anyone like, else to it. I maybe none of you asked to see it. it so. I need to know where I stand, so I'm not so disappointed down the fucking line. 
I, I need to know where I stand, where I'm so not disappointed down the line that I want to fucking throw myself over the fucking bridge. Did she want to Bjork off a bridge? Yeah, she wants to Bjork herself. I know I'm worthless no. as fuck. I can't even get my own boyfriend to call me back. Okay, yeah, see? She's needy, too. Yeah. I can't even here we go. She's about to totally, and it's not fake crying because she will eventually, tears will be like streaming down her face. By the way, like the stream if you haven't already. Give us a big fat like. Thank you. God damn it, Jessica. Can you not play copyrighted music on your streams, please? Yeah, what the heck? She is an ugly crier. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, wow. I got something to tell you about when she's not crying, Ben. <laughs> when I first heard the term ugly crier, it, it was uh, it was when Hillary Swank hosted SNL and they had a whole like sketch about how she's an ugly crier. And Hillary <laughs> Swank could make like the ugliest crying face ever. It was pretty hilarious. Oscar levels yes, of ugly crying. Of ugly crying. <laughs> She's from the Northwest. Wasn't she the next Karate Kid? Was she the girl Karate Kid? Was I, that her? I think it was. Pretty sure. Huh. God damn it. Why do you got to Okay, I'm turning down the music. You don't need to hear her. Um, <laughs> Just watch her cry. Oh, man. Here comes them tears. Oh, God. Oh. Ba -ba -ba. You know what? Like, I've cried like this before, but I'm never like, oh, let me stream this. You know, like, like everybody cries, but most of us know not to put it on the Internet. You know, like. Well. It's good for donos to cry on the internet if people care about you. If they don't, then it's good for other people to get donos. Like, let's start a Jessica Tears <laughs> tip train. That's so straightforward. I don't know how much more. She catastrophizes their relationship every time she gets wasted. And then it's like, well, he has it. Like, it was anger the time she was cleaning his kitchen. It yeah. was like straight anger and jealousy, and this time it's like despair and self-loathing, like I'm worthless. Uh, These uncontrolled emotions. <laughs> I bet she's getting messaged by some of her inner circle. She has like acquired fans. Uh, whether or not they're, like, genuine or not, she has, like, an inner circle, and they're now coming to, like, you know, pat her on the back, you know. We will show you attention, Jessica. Yeah. yeah. Tears. Tear train coming Tear in. Tear train. Nicely tubes. Thank you so much. So uh, this is how I look at this. Yeah. By the way, she looks like Nosferatu right now. <laughs> but uh it's she is genuinely crying cuz she is mentally disturbed. Uh, well, yeah, I will say like when you're really drunk, you can easily get more emotional from the I love you, man, or it could be easier to cry when you're drunk. So, And she's definitely drunk. She was drinking like all night before this. But she, it is manipulative, too, because she could stop the stream at any point. She's doing this for sympathy, uh, but she is also emotionally unstable. It's both. Never waste a good tear. I'm so fucking <laughs> <laughs> user. That's not what's up. Yeah, no. yeah, there is that yeah. too. <laughs> is someone trying to like get her off right now or something? Like vzz, vzz, vzz. So 
Oh, you can put the fucking phone on mute to start. Yeah, that might work. That might be helpful. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh, wow. There's an attractive shot. <laughs> She's like hyperventilating. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. That's like a what what like an like an early two thousands ringtone. Boop, 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 boop. Fuck you. Fuck you. Jeep, 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 jeep. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you too. What you want to do, Scrawny? God damn it! Like we oh, lose the beep beep vroom vroom, and then we get Bjork back. Yeah, so I guess that was the one. Fucking shit. I'd rather just have the vroom 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 vroom. I won't get a copy copy copy. Uh, you only, uh, only call me when I'm drunk. Oh, it is Josh. Oh, you only call me when I'm drunk. I thought it was what? you only call me when you're sober. Or you never call she, me when you're sober. That's what it is. She's uh, being picky. Jessica, you're being a little too picky. Answer your man's call. You just said you can't even get him to call you. Your little tear game got him to call you, and now you're ignoring it. This is why nobody likes you. Oh. Well, I'm not going to answer your calls. Wasn't she just bitching about how he wouldn't call her? She though? was just bitching about <laughs> he how he wouldn't call her. Literally just before the cry cries. So, yeah, it's it's a double bind. There's no right way to navigate her. So it's yeah. like you're you're just fucked either way. And that's never a good place to be. She must have that Godzilla grip for our boy Cobra to keep rolling with it. Well, it's the only grip he's had, so it could be any kind of grip. Any kind of grip is better than his own grip. Uh, actually, maybe not. I Well, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would rather J.O. <laughs> than any of this. Yeah. Yes, King Cobra is a mod here. Oh, you, wanna, you only want to call me when I'm drunk. I uh, want it's appropriate for you. What? She she's just not making sense right now. Oh. Okay. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. If if you're dating me and uh, I'm only calling you when it's appropriate for me, uh, you could leave. Cause uh, I I I'm going to call you when it's appropriate for me. Yeah, and then you, she something. could call. Yeah, if she could call him. It's yeah. it, it's this weird thing where she sets him up. She has this expectation for him to do something, but doesn't tell him. It's he should just know that that's what he's supposed to do. And if he doesn't do yeah. it, she acts like this. Yeah, this none of this works for me. Like the, in the world of dating, none of this would be okay. Cares about me, right? Who cares about me? I I know I'm just some fucking really fucking fat fucking. I know. <laughs> I'm so tired. If, if it's my friend calling me, I'm not going to answer you. If it's not Josh calling, I'm not going to answer. Okay, so was it Josh calling or not? I'm very confused. Well, at one point she said that it was, but she wasn't going to answer. It could have been other people calling as well. Someone else could be calling now and saying she's not going to answer. But she just said she wasn't going to answer, and it was Josh calling, but she wasn't going to answer. So who knows with this woman right here. I'm so confused. And Josh isn't going to answer, so. God damn. So, uh, just just putting this out there, if uh, if I end up having to cut this part of the segment from the YouTube uh, stuff because of all the music, it'll still be available on the audio version uh, 
later tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. So. And on the audio version, you could imagine the boobage that was cut out. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I get to deal with all the fucking Demogorgon lies that people fucking get. She throws that out there a lot, Demogorgon. Yeah. I, I can't even get my own boyfriend to answer my phone calls. Because I'm too ugly, too embarrassed, too ashamed. Jeep, 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 Hold on, though. I'm reading the definition, and it sounds like something Josh would actually like. A terrifying and mysterious god or demon of the underworld. Isn't that right up Josh's alley? Yeah, they were portrayed in the Stranger Things series. I like it when this happens because it covers up the Bjork. By the way, please like the stream. All of you like the stream because it helps bring more people in here. Let's get let's get as many likes as we can and and subscribe. Thank you. Misery loves company. What is this? Is she acting like she's dead? <laughs> what? She's what? going into a trance. Uh, it is. Is she going to start doing her weird dancing? Her like twitchy? I hope not. We don't need that magic on us. By the way, voodoo. I'm very, very, very excited about something. Uh, I actually added... Uh, a new alert for one of the uh, it it used to be one of the Jared giggling ones Um, but now this is for the uh, for the $12 it's actually this (laughs) so if you donate 12 bucks that'll happen just so you know Less Jared. I'm all for it. We need to make one that goes Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. She considered changing her text tone to a cool Awooga, Awooga, Awooga. She's listing all the things she's not. She was like, I'm not pale enough. Because Josh is into those uh, milky white goth girls. Yeah, that's that's one complaint I would have if I was dating this woman. She's just not pale enough. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, you know... I've seen Ellen. Yes, Ellen is much more attractive than Jessica. Much more. And we know she's going to age well because we've seen oh, Angie. No, actually, that's the downside to that. But that doesn't mean she might not age exactly. I mean, like, Angie may have lived a, a hard life, you know? Yeah, we don't know if Ellen eats a pack of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Jeep, 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 Jeep. And then, and then, and then she accidentally mutes the stream, and there's nothing. I blame Jessica for all of the world's problems. There you go. That should have been a twelve dollar, but I'll forgive you this time. Uh, it's not Jessica's fault, but I do like blaming. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. All right. Uh, I guess here's her like being mean to her cat, which really pisses me off when people abuse animals. It really makes me mad like a lot. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's Wayne. What is with Goral World and mistreatment of elderly cats? Yeah, I had to learn what that was. It's like foodie beauty and all those crazy people. Yeah, it's Goral World, all the little crazy Gorals online. Why would I care about that? But I guess, yeah, that's what this is, and Jessica's part of it. And that, Like, she's been part of it for a while, but now she's gotten way more attention than before. 
So yeah. he just rubbed on me and then bit me, Ollie. If you haven't been keeping up with the King and Queen Cobra mess, this is Naked and Laughing, a niche girl world content creator who is now dating King Cobra JFS. Naked and Laughing was streaming and was roughly playing with and antagonizing her elderly cat. He just wiped snot on my... He just rubbed me right here and bit me on the wrist. Ollie. Okay, I do want to say, I don't want to give out details... But uh, I like there are websites out there where you can look up people, you know, and like and you can uh, like if you know their first and last name and like where they live and shit, you can figure out information and everything I see indicates that uh, Jessica is 43 not 39 and 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 soon to be 44 this year i don't know for sure but that's like everything i've seen says that she's currently 43 and uh later this year turning 44 so she's actually a little bit older than me she's playing a forever 39 i don't know why? Remember when Brett Keane looked awful I- for 43? <laughs> that was like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bite you. Hey. Now, I do want to say that these websites can be wrong, too. Uh, and there, there could be other Jessica Boyles, even that live in Virginia Beach. So this could yeah. b- be wrong information. She could be 39. I'm just saying what I'm seeing here. Yeah, but, I think we can all agree, no matter how old she is. But I've looked it's up. Rough. Yeah, yes. But I've like looked up people that I actually know to see like how accurate they are, and there was a bunch of wrong information. So, just take that for what it is. You want to be picked and prod- prodded on now, like an alien? Oh yes, you don't like that. Look at this. You want to be picked and prod- prodded on now, like an alien? You like. You don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? I'm just pushing your buttons. I'm just pushing your buttons. <laughs> yeah, your pet cat sh- shouldn't normally want to bite you. <laughs> you are a fucking dementia patient. Are, are you talking to yourself in a mirror? Yeah, that's also the wrong diagnosis. Jeez, it's, it's okay for you to bite me. I'm just not even biting you. I'm just playing with you. Nobody's hurting you, Ollie. You really fucking yeah, no, made me dead. Nobody accused you of biting the cat. Right. It was the poking and prodding that you admitted to. If you bit the cat, I would be, like, calling the police. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just playing this with you. This isn't playing. Play? It seems vindictive. It was vindictive. <laughs> it's party time. Excellent. I can't play with you. I just want to I want to photoshop the Wayne's World logo on her hat. Yeah, something to get rid of her mocking Cobra's lost love. Go puff, go puff, go. Yeah, she's literally mocking King Cobra's lost fucking lizard, dude. Yeah, I think she was in on it. I think she was scouting out the area and helped Puff run away. You think she had this hat made as a way to signify her victory over Puffers? Yeah, it was the long game. She was playing the long oh, game. She had been to Casper cool. before. Hi, baby. Not cool. Jeez, you're such a brat. You know that. Rest in powers, Puffers you Saunders. Don't like I'm playing with you. Yeah, Ollie, I know. I know. Maybe... He would like it better if he wasn't being poked and prodded. You know Mama's just playing with you. Gosh, Ollie. No, uh, cats don't can't be reasoned with. They don't understand the difference between just being played. Well, I mean, depending on how you're doing it, you know. You talk about sensitive. Talk about sensitive. Now should hook up with Blade. There's video of him throwing his little dog. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. Don't like Did that. He? Oh, stop. Nobody's being mean to you. Stop. Nobody's hurting you. Boop. 
Cats don't like this either. Too long. I'm just saying. You were really trying to come after me, though. That's the thing. Smart cat. Just playing. The with cat you. is it's trying to get man. away. It seems like. It's an old kitty. You didn't have no fun. Yeah. Oh, Does she have a fuck fuck first. bucket behind her? What is that? Yeah, it's like a sticker. it's a sticker on something. Silky, silky. Is it a Home Depot Come bucket? Come here, rat. It does kind of look like it has the Home Depot logo on it. <laughs> I can't tell. Come here, little rat. And pick a spot and lay down, Ollie. Come on, Mama's. Why are you? He's got a bite of my shoulder, of my sweater. Look at him. Look at him. He's fucking... His tooth appears to be stuck on the sweater. That happens. Thank you. That happens with their teeth and with their claws can get stuck on things. Rabid. This is when somebody rabid. Oh, this is when somebody's guilty of abuse. They try and find any way to make it look like it wasn't their fault and put blame on the other person. I was just petting this is you. Her natural ability to try and blame the cat. Dude, are you out for blood? Hide her own guilt. Get the fuck off of me! I don't... And now she's grabbing it by its scruff. You can't, you shouldn't do that to a cat. I don't want you near me. I think you're like rabid. Go. Are you out for blood? Get the fuck off of me. I don't want you near me. I think you're like rabid. Go. Come on. I don't want you near me. She you totally wants your... to grab the cat like that and just pick him up. Yeah, pick him up and set him on the floor. Never fucking loving mine, dude. No. Uh, you're fucking lucky I had a sweater on, dude. I'd, I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. Wow. Literally, nothing would have happened if you weren't wearing that sweater. He's like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, I'll send you to SPCA. So she would just I mean, give away her cat. It's probably better at this point for the cat. No. God, I can't even play with my cat. He literally Demogorgon. Holy shit. All right, Ollie, you're out for blood. That's fine. That's fine, Ollie. Woe is me. That's how you feel. About what are your kids. thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Best for you to stay away in your old age. She wasn't abusing the cat. She was picking it up by its scruff and going, okay, that's how you're going to be. Well, then you can get off of me. And she, mm -hmm. she didn't throw it off aggressively. Okay. Uh, now he's stuck defending. It's the, the, yeah, same, yeah. the same. I mean, he... He does this like if he perceives anything as like his trolls attacking him, he'll defend it till the very end. Uh, you know, just like just like his mead, just like his cooking, all of this. Yeah. So now she's part of this. The trolls don't like her. So now any wrong thing that she does, it's just the trolls. And it, she's people right. say, stop making excuses. Josh needs to stop defending her bad behavior. If the woman I love is doing anything wrong, I'm defending it to the end. I don't care if she's committing lightweight genocide. I'm defending it. On shit or like, oh, you yeah. should. Because you, love, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are stupid. He's an older cat, though, Josh, too. Yes, he's an older cat, but, like, that cat's been with Jessica for ages. Uh-huh, that means older. Ollie's fine, trust me. Jessica feeds him bacon on occasion when she cooks it. That actually makes for a perfectly okay cat. <laughs> If you give your cat bacon on occasion when you cook it, you can pretty much beat it up, right? Uh, I, I guess I was not aware of that. Maybe because I've never had a cat before, but it yeah, seems I've like weird never logic. Had a cat. I've also never had a cat, so I could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, there's a cat that lives with you. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I it's not I've your cat, bacon but yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure I've given him bacon. <laughs> uh so now josh is on facebook because he's he's dealing with a suspension so does here's... anybody watching know why he's suspended king cobra marble Boro pack Uh, 
Oh, yeah, it was a Talking Tom video. That's what it was. He he gets in trouble for those a lot. What is Talking Tom? It's like it's like a filter, you know, and, and it makes you into like a little cat and it makes your voice all high pitched. And that bans you? Uh, well, what he makes it say, I don't remember exactly what it said. Oh. Oh, and the, yeah, the King Cobra subreddits and everything were taken down. So I think it was retaliation. Oh. That's a cigarette. Strike on box. He struck. Ta da! Oh, he He's lit the cigarette. He lit the cigarette by striking it. Magician. Right oh there. God, gross beer. Bud Light. It, not only is it blood, Bud Light, but it's Bud Light Platinum. Rolling with the platy. <laughs> he just acts from the beer as like a little extra, <laughs> extra <Yeah>. hurrah. <laughs> By the way, please subscribe, guys, if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you. As far as the strike, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as the strike goes, it is what it is. It may get resolved. It may not. Nothing I can do about it. I ain't worried about. He that. is like less than a thousand subscribers away from hitting a hundred k. Oh man, yeah. the man's about to have that silver play button. Not if they get him <laughs> terminated. I think that might be the plan by the malicious trolls to like get him wow. terminated before he hits 100k. I'm going to have Keemstar save his channel. Yeah. Then he'll have to be a guest on the Wall Cow podcast. <laughs> Pay him back. Oh. Keep rocking. Keep on rocking. Young King Cobra with the blue Bud Light Platinum. Lightning striking that cigarette. He ain't he ain't tripping. It's doing his time. Is this his second strike now? So he's got two active strikes? I don't know. If I were him, I wouldn't tell everybody exactly how many active yeah. strikes he had. Because third um, strike is is the bad, the bad one, it's gone. Yeah, normally there's a warning. They give you four chances now because you get a warning first. And they all expire. The warning expires, too, after like 90 days. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know where he's at with it right now. But, yeah, it's... I do uh, not think Jessica will disappear like Mama JF, by the way. People keep bringing up Mama JF today. If she We have not heard from... If she disappears, it's not because of anything Cobra did. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cobra is the opposite of JF Gary. Epic. Well, he's nowhere near her, <laughs> too. So. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here's here's a little more from Cobra from YouTube jail. Cheers, YouTube. I just cracked this open. Oh, he made some really bad looking crab legs that I watched last night. Huh. Really bad. Like, if you like crab legs, it. it it'll it'll make you feel like actual physical agony interesting yeah been a couple days ago at a point a little bit into my mead this oh they make stuff. ever what yeah, yeah. so he, he made that he has ever clear that he's pouring into his mead because his mead doesn't <laughs> yield any actual alcohol so he has to buy 190 proof grain alcohol to pour into his mead to actually make it alcoholic he should just start making, like, uh, jungle juice. Yeah, I mean, you can do anything with that. I mean, but it's really strong. It's almost 100% pure. It's 90% pure alcohol. I think this summer I'm going to get drunk once off some jungle juice. I want some fruit alcohol. Let's get wasted one time. If I die, I die. Where I grew up, we called <laughs> jungle juice hairy buffalo. 
Harry Buffalo. I've yeah. also heard Spody. We I've call never it Spody. Yeah. Um, Facebook and social media is ever clear. Grain alcohol. This stuff is Man, Dude, that's sh- not going to get old. <laughs> I should make that one of the higher tier ones so it plays longer. You don't need a whole lot of this. One of my YouTube fans sent it to me, and I greatly appreciate it. I'm not going to drink the whole thing. That is cloudy, right? I'm or not going to drink straight- the whole thing is what he just said. It's like he, it once. he would die. Like, I know he can carry, he can take his alcohol, but if he drank this whole thing, he would die. It is, like, you can run a car on this shit. It's like five-fifths of whiskey, right? Because whiskey's about 40 proof, and this is 190? Yeah, this is 190 proof. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking at about five times the power of a, a, a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. No, whiskey's 80 proof, right? Uh, different. It, dep- it depends on which kind, too. It varies. Yeah, I think whiskey's majority. about 80 proof. It's, it's 2.5, which is Just still all the other crazy. bottles in my freezer that the fans sent. Just got done trying that delicious bastard. The Taco, Taco John's, John's. Is delicious. Would recommend. They were going to do a drink combo. Speaking of Taco So it, bourbon is sometimes like 125 proof. Sometimes. Taco John's. Yeah, ice. on average, it's about 80. As I said 40 because I was thinking 40% alcohol. Well, well, there's different types of whiskey, too. <laughs> I like that. I like that part. John's cup already got out. Then how did I know what you said, Seth? I said it you so think you're so it. bright. Let's just do yeah. it. Yeah. Sometimes you listen with your eyes, Seth Look. Yeah. Call this nocturnal redneck juice. Nocturnal redneck juice? We'll see you want here in a second, because we're going to take a cup. Pretty sure you can't even buy Everclear in Washington State. Uh, I don't know. Um, it used to be... It used to be illegal in Ohio when I was younger, and we used to because they make it in Indiana. We used to go to Indiana yeah. to get it, uh, but I think now you can buy it there. But I don't know. Yeah, every state has their own laws, so it could be anything. We used to have to go to Oregon to get it. Oregon. Oh my God, that's what we call like. That's what I grew up calling it, and the game Oregon Trail, and that part of that's because we have a town just outside of Toledo that we call Oregon. Oregon Trail. Reverend Veritas says he had some 200 proof anhydrous ethanol used for tincture extractions. It's like a super strong but very smooth vodka. That sounds crazy. 200 200 proof proof. would be 100 percent, right? It'd be pure alcohol. Yeah, because two. That's wild. 200 proof is 100 percent alcohol. That's cold. Yeah. I turned down the alert volume a little bit it was already at like five percent so i think that just the volume in the file was high you can't turn down the power of your laughter (laughs) just enough room for our other ingredients and pour a shot of everclear on that mountain dew oh it's the fake king cobra jfs account See, that's part of the reason why I gave Cobra a, a wrench in our chat, because there would be, like, fakers that try to pretend like it's him. And that Everclear bottle is... Yeah. The real Cobra has has the, has the wrench. Cold, son. YouTube should have, like, another vanity ability. He'll have the check mark. legal in most states. He'll have the check mark eventually. Yeah, they should have like a vanity for like friends of the channel that you don't want to be able to have have the power Trust to ban people. You don't need a whole lot of this. Good this point. Stuff is uh, e strong.
And a splash of Bud Light Platinum. Now, I don't know how ah! often Cobra watches a little splash of the Platy. I don't know how often Cobra watches us, but Cobra has chimed in randomly yeah. on multiple occasions. Just yep. like, just random responses to things. Yeah. So he, he, it wouldn't be surprised if he lurks a little more than he talks because he, he does. He has just, he has just popped out a little comment here or there when it was just in the middle of something. It's when someone like said that he was like I said he wasn't actually goth. He he responded to that. Uh, Jeff speculated that he, a bad relationship with Jessica might turn him gay, and he was like, "No way." No way. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes when he feels the need to clear up what he feels to be misinformation, he uh he'll he'll let us know. Um and and I can confirm cuz I can see who's subscribed to the channel. I can confirm he's subscribed to us right now cuz I see his channel right there. So, yeah. Brewed for the night. That's some strong Bud Light Platinum. He's already coughing. I feel like the only reason what? why Cobra makes meat anymore is to give himself auto brewery syndrome. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm looking that up. Yeah, yeah, look that up. I have no idea what that is. The foam level, we're good. That is filled to the top. You know, uh... I the other the other day in the comments I saw someone mention that Cobra had wet brain and I didn't know what that was. Oh yeah. So I so I went and I looked it up and it's a vitamin B one deficiency that alcoholics have because they don't have a diet that gives them B one and you need it. And and it also alcohol can keep you from digesting B one when you eat it and it can cause literal brain damage. Lack of B1 can cause brain damage. Is that something he could take a supplement yes. for? Yes. Yes. Man, someone should send him some B1 with yeah. like an honest letter and say, hey, man, I feel like you might be uh, suffering without this vitamin supplement. Please try it. I would love to see how you react to it. Something like s subtle. And most, nice. most normal daily multivitamins have a daily value of B1 in it yeah i think our audience right now is all thinking about getting some b1 <laughs> our baby our baby I, alcoholics well you know i like my drink so i'm like shit i i mean like <laughs> poor poor short short-term memory is uh is one of the symptoms so there's there's like a yeah. lot i'm uh i'm reading auto brewery syndrome yeah. Also known as gut fermentation syndrome is a very rare disorder. It is characterized by the endogenous production of alcohol. Hmm. It typically presents That's with crazy. signs of alcohol intoxication, such as staggering gait, slurred speech, gastrointestinal distress, and state of confusion. He doesn't Imagine. have. He has all of those except for the gastrointestinal distress. He's fine. I mean, he farts a lot, but. He's never like, oh, my stomach hurts. Like, he never does that. You but know? he's always in pain and just hiding it. He, he doesn't be. want the trolls to make it, fun of him. Yeah, kind of like how he won't admit that his food is bad. Maybe. That's crazy. He could he could be the mead. Hmm. I'll have to pull the rest of this in here. Ah. A little platy up in the window. Is that Mountain cup? Dew? Last of that one. Do they have Mountain Dew at Wendy's? Uh, Mount, uh, Wendy's usually has Pepsi products, but uh, yeah. I don't know. He, he might actually. That could be Mellow Yellow, I think. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. Wendy's has Coke products, though. No, Maybe now, when I was younger yeah. and worked there. Dude, the Wendy, the f I worked at a bunch of different Wendy's, but the first one I worked at caught on fire recently, and they had to close it. I saw a news story about it. Oh, so. Actually, there's this channel I watch where this guy like breaks into abandoned buildings and films it, and and he's kind of from the area I lived when I was growing up, and he went into the Wendy's, and I was like, holy shit, I, I, this is the Wendy's I used to work at, and I found the news story and everything. Hmm. Let's see how this tastes. Rusty Stormcrow in the chat says you can induce the uh, 
alcoholic belly syndrome by eating ingredients in the That's wrong order, like bad. eating watermelon after oatmeal? You can definitely taste the Everclear. What? But I didn't... You can definitely taste the Everclear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would imagine so. Dude, he has a heavy pour, too. He should really be careful with the Everclear. Dude, look at... He, I, I'm guessing he has some infected gums, too. You know, I, I saw a video of him from, like, he was living in his last place. So it was, like, six years ago, and he was complaining about how he had to go to the dentist then. And that was probably the last time he went to the dentist. So the, the, the first time I had ever clear, I got this idea. I had Capri Suns, the only mixer. And I thought to myself, I'll Take a shot of Everclear. You've told this story and then, before. <laughs> and blow it into the Capri Sun, thinking it would mix it. But it just shot the Everclear back out into yeah. my eye. <laughs> That's like a Three Stooges thing that would happen. It was so stupid. Yeah. It was so stupid. That's kind of like how what you, I was thinking. That's kind of like how you tried to wash your body at a car wash, like a self-serve car wash, and it like took your skin off because the water yeah. pressure was so high. Or too much of yeah. it. Yeah. That's just the right amount. It's enough to give you a taster of it, but not like, you know what I'm saying? So cheers to the fans. Appreciate y'all supporting me on the channel. Cheers, uh, so fans. For Facebook. Oh, yeah, I, I wish he would not do Facebook. Someone told me he has, like, a backup channel, but he doesn't use it. I wonder if he can remember the password for it. I don't know. But, yeah, that's the last video he released. Uh, let's let's check something really quick here. I want to check on something. Please like the stream. Please subscribe. Uh Okay, here it comes. Liggity like the stream before you siggity psych the stream. Siggity. 90s, baby. All right, so she is, she's live right now. Let's see if there's anything interesting going on with whatever she's doing right now. Okay, let's see. She's trying to dress goth, if you notice. She is definitely swinging towards that she's wheelers. trying is she yeah she's getting hammered i know some people don't like mayonnaise but i like mayonnaise i just don't like globs of it <clears throat> like if you go to fast food and there's like globs of it or the glob it's like on the bun and it's all like ugh, it, it just ugh. what where else are they going to put the mayonnaise? They put it on the bun. She likes it to be evenly spread. Yeah, that's fine. She doesn't want a pocket of globuled mayo. She's got pasta aroni. Is that what she's making? Pasta aroni. The San Francisco oh, treat. The San the San Jose things. treat. Is she going to mix mayonnaise in with the pasta roni and make a little salad? Ugh. Do you ever eat, like, rice roni or sh stuff like that? Nah, I don't normally eat boxed stuff. Yeah. Like, if I want rice, I, I, bought, I bought a giant bag of rice from Costco, yeah. like a five-pound yeah. bag of rice. Yeah. So Basmati or regular? I hope not, but... Um... Uh... It's. I think sure. it's just regular Only. white rice. Pretty no, sure. Jasmine sure, is I good. Yeah. I like rice in general. Is her necklace also a wine yeah, bottle I opener? I, I was already going to do it on a small I don't tortilla. think so, but it looks like. A, I, I bet you Cobra gave it to her because it kind of looks like a snake. Or maybe yeah. she bought it. But yeah, she's wearing the like the like uh like the see through type stuff over her arms. It's she she's she said she wouldn't go goth, you know? She's got a uh, a bong on the oven for okay, the cooking well, there preparation. Is cheese, so I could have 
technically done it without mayo, but still, I still wouldn't enjoy. I need mayonnaise with my. What is going on? Does she is she missing an ingredient or what? Well, I think she put mayonnaise in her. I was never dish. in the navy. I, what are you? And now she's saying about? she could have used cheese. <laughs> But she wants mayonnaise now, even though she was complaining about... Why do people make up the weirdest shit about me? Oh, God. (laughs) Whoa! Why is Marilyn Manson at her house? We're all stars now. Uh, Alani, if you have Instagram, if you want to send me your um, YouTube link, I can uh, unblock you. I mean, not right this instant. Whoa! So I can unblock you. Nice pepper yes, grinder. I'm naked and laughing is my name. I've decided I'm not going to tip at any okay. restaurant well, that doesn't grind that my anymore. pepper I'm, for me. I'm making pasta because Starting a revolution. I don't have any mayonnaise. <laughs> and mayonnaise is so fucking expensive now. It's ridiculous. It's all, The price better have gone down on mayonnaise. Yeah! I'm, I'm going to write my senator about that. <laughs> dukes, that's what people in Virginia. Most I would write my senator about that if I was in a Hellman's region. But I'm in a Best Foods region. We have more things to and worry about. I think they s- taste the same. Like the last They're the same exact product. They just Hopefully based on region. Still made in Richmond, Virginia. They have different names. Yeah. Overseas or not, I don't fucking know. Hopefully not. But most people in Virginia use Duke's mayonnaise, and I need my mayonnaise. Duke's mayonnaise. Like, when I hear Duke's, I think of the seafood restaurant that's out here. I do use Miracle Whip when I make my white sauce. Boo! Right Miracle Whip, boo! Make, I'm make the white sauce food. come out. Ha 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 ha! Hey! It's not make that sauce. white sauce come out again. <laughs> Look at her chug. Oh, my God. What's going on with her that's, lower lip? That's a Red Bull, right? I don't know what it is, but she's drinking it like it's a teat. Like she's like a thirsty calf. Uh. Oh, leader. Okay. I thought people were making Anybody who says mayonnaise expe- is expensive must not way. buy anything no, else. No, it was actually a military police. Um, Everything is expensive now. Not military police. Hey, oh, my God. Make it that just white stuff come sweater. out again that I got from the thrift store and I took the badges off of it so I would not get in trouble because I was just like how can someone just like get rid of their like uniform like this um you were employee of the month uh leader it's funny when I was at home depot airport The second time around to go her and uh uh, Art Van Groh should hang out they both have that home depot Um, lore in the past they should fight the ladies were talking about my black sweater and i guess they were curious about it because I, I guess she has one or something like that or whatever black I sweater for my gang green titties you know, what i told you i told her i got it from the thrift store and then it had you know it was a uh it was a police sweater and it had badges all over it and then I took all the badges off and I threw them away. See how, okay, do you notice so I get in she's definitely she sober here. here she's not yeah. a sight, like, she, she's off a little bit still, but she's not totally unhinged like she was in the other video we were watching. <laughs> yeah, maybe she had a little hit of the bong and that's about it. Some Red Bull and a hit of the bong. Yeah, and probably her regular psych meds because I'm pretty sure she's on psych meds. One thing she can't do is ignore, like, obvious bait. She cannot ignore it. Yeah. All right. I will say she at least knows how to do, like, film herself cooking. She probably learned all this in her OnlyFans days. Don't want to do an entire scene and realize you didn't frame the kooka correctly. And hopefully if I have enough bacon left over, 
because I'm probably going to have to hide it somewhere. Uh, Hopefully she use, has um, enough bacon left over so she can feed it to the cat and get away with abusing it again. <laughs> as long as she has the bacon, it's never abuse. Yeah, hopefully there's enough bacon I like left how, over. I like how Josh had to rationalize it some way, and that was the best he could come up with. Was like, He's defending yeah. his baby. Yeah. <laughs> she really doesn't abuse the cat. She gives it bacon when weather permits. I will say this. If I was with a woman and she was abusing me, yeah, if, there uh, is an amount of bacon she could give me that I would forgive her for it. Do those, uh, cheddar bay biscuits tomorrow. Ah, oh, she's all about the cheddar. Seven, she seven, cooked the cheddar biscuits. bay biscuits over at his place, too. Yeah, the cheddar bay breakfast biscuit so, sandwich. So I want to know, can you are, are there resorts on cheddar bay? Like, can there you, be. Could you take a Cheddar Bay vacation? Dude, honestly, I imagine Cheddar Bay, you go to Cheddar Bay and you're allowed to eat every cool animal from the Little Mermaid movie. Like, the Sebastian Crab shows up, flounders there, plated, ready to eat. I'm guessing there's like a dinner cruise in this Cheddar Bay. Is yeah. It must be thoroughly cooked before eating to prevent illness from potential bacteria. They announced the Magic the Gathering cruise okay. for next year. Who the fuck got sick off of this? I want to go. You know, uh, recently, right. Emo Howling Wolf had another meltdown because someone accused him of scripting his videos, and he got really <laughs> oddly offended about it because, and I don't know why, it's like, that's not necessarily a bad thing to have a script, but whatever. But then, do you know his comeback to that was? Well, I don't even know how to read or write. <laughs> <laughs> Which I would believe. No, no, no. I believe it. But it's just funny. That was his way of owning them. was like, joke's on you. I don't even know how to read or write. It's just kind of draining sometimes. It's like nothing against you. I just, I will go through it and I'll look through all my messages and confirm everyone but i will i will get to you and i will unblock you wow yeah Please she's some, oh i'm not going anywhere there's all right this now. unblocking this duty that there. she's on all the time because she mods people that block yeah, that gatekeep sauce. her what's white sauce it's um <clears throat> white sauce Hey, well, white sauce come out. It's made, white stuff come out again. They claim that it's from Virginia Beach. Ew. I don't know. It's not my restaurant, so I don't take claim to it. But um, I don't know. There were some who wins, Jessica or Lisa Jordana, like in a ago, fight. They were talking about Jessica white sauce, wins, and I fucking love this. Stuff. It's not cheese. It's it's not. It's not that white. I will say that Elisa got a haircut since uh, the incident. <laughs> I've got two different recipes for it. Because me and her are are. Uh, Online friends on a few social They're media platforms. I so I saw her post cream, with her new haircut because I think she lost a lot of hair yeah, in that altercation. Like sour cream, milk. N not mayonnaise, but the other stuff. Um, Oh my god, people are just talking about it. Whatever the fuck it's called. I think Elisa Not might be able to beat Jessica if Elisa has access like said, to like a knife or something. Because no Elisa will go there. Basically almost the same. And then Jessica got, won't think about getting a knife. She'll right just now, flail. You got cumin. I think she's cumin. Red pepper. There's probably like garlic salt or something. To make know. the white stuff come out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Make that it's, white stuff so come out again. Yeah, it really depends on who gets the $8 machete. <laughs> Are they like NyQuil for me? What does that mean? Are they like night? I notice her ears are very like nice long. Theory. Almost elf-like. Not pointy enough to be elf ears. The brought it up earlier. Just yeah. Me. What's true? What's What are you talking about, Cobra Lover? What are you talking about? <laughs> Goblin ears. Definitely boglam ears. It's uh, Alice Cooper. 
I hear he's a devout Christian. Chris Chan. I thought I was dating Winnie Cooper. That's so annoying how she's like doing this to her camera constantly. Gotta scroll that chat. Yeah, Gotta she. read all the hate. Yeah, Can't she. miss one moment of hate. Oh shit, this is so How long is Oh my god, she's been streaming for almost twelve hours. What is Step she? Around. Shabisky? And me and Josh are not going anywhere. What? This bitch is not gonna break up me and Josh. You Josh, just made a stream no, the other no, night no, no, no. saying that you guys were breaking up. You said that. That was her, that was her way of getting he, attention. He fucking knows the lengths people go to try and break us up, and we're not going anywhere. People like you? <laughs> he didn't pay for it, at least. It says zero dollars for... What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Someone go to her chat and ask why we're Zero banned from commenting in her chat. Oh, Miracle Whip. Yes, thank you. Miracle Whip. I hate? Are we going to have that uh, debate? No, we've already had that. Well, I mean, really someone can ask her. Now, ask I'm her like if she Habanero's. thinks Miracle Whip is... Uh, see, I can't ask. Stuff, it's like liquid, I'm banned. Like, I, I don't like them. So like, somebody has to ask are, her... Like, is uh the you know, is like Miracle Whip like real mayonnaise? Like, or is it mayonnaise? Is it a like mayonnaise like substitute? A sauce, like, or is it its know, own thing? Salsa. I don't like the chunky parts of salsa, but Oh I my like god. Dipping. She's a she's like, a salsa like strainer. Throw like her in the gulag. In my mouth and all. I don't know. So like peppers? Salsa strainers are the worst. I like Mushrooms. salsa water. Peas. Did she just say please like a little kid? Peas. <laughs> what are you doing in that box? Peas. Peas. Mind your peas and keys. Why are you deleting some of these messages, girl? Because you have shitty mods. Hello, Mr. McFeely. Mr. Oh, McFeely. Ben, ben. Mr. McFeely, the yeah, mailman from Mr. Comedian. Rogers. Wasn't it the, the black mailman that Mr. Rogers like, put it. his feet in a pool with? Why are some of these messages being No, deleted? the mailman was Mr. McFeely, the, uh, he, and he wasn't black. There was like a famous segment where Mr. Rogers put his bare feet in the, the yeah. pool with a black man. Yeah, that guy wasn't a, a, the mailman. I'm not a big cream cheese person. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, you look more like blue cheese to me. He was a police officer. The black guy that Mr. Rogers put his feet uh, in the water. Mr. I McFeely see. was the speedy delivery man. I don't have the bird anymore. Someone came and picked it up. What? The bird? Oh, hot. Did they take the bird away from her? I don't know. I mean, honestly, it literally looked... Did she kill a bird? I'm like, what's going on here? It literally looked in bad shape when I saw it. Like, I already thought it was dead in the gutter when I saw it, but... I don't know. All I can do is hope and pray for it, you know? Because it... Seriously, it looked like it had three different things wrong with it when I got it. So. Was one of the but things yeah, I don't have you? The bird <laughs> yeah, we looked at her page earlier from 2016. And there dead was a squirrel. dead squirrel on it. Whatever yeah. Happens, but uh, I, I she might be one of those uh, Elmira types from Tiny Toon Adventures where you hug them and squeeze them and you don't move no more. Uh, do not go out she fish. could she could give it to Josh and Josh could make a dead bird mead. Ran over so fast. Um. Yuck. Man, she is chugging that Red Bull like it's a if fucking. It would have been a bird attack. Titty. I mean, a bird. Why do we keep saying that? 
if it would have been a cat attack, you would have seen puncture wounds and blood. There was no blood, but... Yeah, I don't know what happened to the bird. It was really weird. I just hope he's all right, but... No, but I love this white sauce. I used to go to this one Mexican place. Hey, which make I don't think it white stuff anymore, come out again. To jail. I used to go... She to obviously the, got her Zans refilled. Sauce, but, um, Easy janking. You know, when you're waiting for your food and you got your chips. We're at 40.92% of the way towards uh, our goal. Hopefully we can get to at least 50% before the end of the stream. Thanks for helping us get so far. You got your white it might sauce. not just be the, the Sarah, Xanax, though. So she could actually have wings my, from that Red Bull. I don't know what it was there. I don't know if they were chimichangos. Xanax or gives you wings. Because there's one place that was Pollo Fundido and one place that was chimichangos. And I don't know. Not really sure what the difference was, but either way. What is Pollo Fundido? Is that a dish or is that a restaurant? Pollo would mean chicken. I thought there were only three ninety. I don't know what the... I've not oh, tried the fundido. I don't know what that means. They look good though. They look like popovers. I tried making popovers one time and they did not. But the Susie girl in Florida, holy fuck. She was such a good cook. She may have been a fucking cunt bitch and treated me like mm, but projection. She was such a good cook. It's like, why? It's like, I do nothing but compliment you and. I mean, like, I never sucked her ass or nothing like that. Well, that was the like, problem. Maybe you should have did that. She was a good cook. Everything she fucking touched was if like... If someone's a good cook, suck their ass. Honestly, just magic. I'm not going to be and sucking also, ass if the food's that good. I don't want to destroy the <laughs> flavor palette of the food. That's, that's well, you could get a cleanser. Remind me of. Unless she cooks the food to be paired well with her ass, then I'd be like, uh, I trust you on this. Outside? Yeah, you come in, baby. Yes, I have my uranium. Yeah, but I want to sell it like all at once. <laughs> She's got uranium? Many pizzas. I see your comment, but I want I don't know what dish you're talking about. Her stove has a number pad? Interesting. Plus, I sell <laughs> that for a timer? How often do you see a stove with a freaking calculator number pad on it? Not normally. Cobra's stove is like 60 years old and it has yeah. multiple buttons for each burner. So each burner has multiple buttons for like each heat level yeah. you want to set it to. It's really weird. It kind of looks like it's fallen apart too. Cobra's stove has a uh, switchboard on it. <laughs> it is basically. What is she doing? Ext extreme close up. Whoa. Ah, good old Queen Cobra. I want to see her plate up this damn food after all this cooking. She made rice aroni a la crema. Well, it takes her eight hours to take a bath. So how long does it take her to cook rice aroni? The San Francisco treat. Burm, burm. I got some kind of Jack Skelly Skellington thing, not for me, but for a friend. For I'll a friend. I'll mail that off to her tomorrow. <laughs> like you know we're living when you're so able to afford um, Jack Skellington things for a friend. Its head. It's actually nice quality. She's living the dream. I got that for her. <clears throat> um, I've got these four Princess House glasses. These are crystal. Cute. I didn't know that. My mom used to sell Princess House when I was younger, so I knew immediately what it was when I saw it, and I looked at the sticker. I was like, yep. Made in Poland. And if the ones I looked up earlier were the right ones, I think four of them sold for 65 But I'll do more research. I got four of those. I got this for Josh. On the bottom it said two for three ninety nine, but I looked all over. I did not see another one. 
Hey, you know what? I have those glasses. I got that for him. A little skull mason jar. Yeah, yeah they were right. sold to me. Uh, they held weed in them. I also got like when I would buy an blood. ounce of uh, weed from Fat Walnut Panda, blood. I had the pineapple glasses, like the one I have right here. Right you can't yeah. really see it, but it's like pineapple shaped. And then I have ones that though. look like skulls. Yeah, you got boots, cowboy hat and lasso, wagon wheels, whatever that dead animal skull is. You got a gun and horseshoe. It's fucking adorable. That's what I got at the thrift store earlier. I'm going to buy a bunch of those skull mason jars and start selling my own line of pickled weenies. Thank you, Beat. I'm surprised I had internet, so it was pretty fun. I just need, like... It's just hard to hold the camera and like try and show stuff and whatever. Get a tripod. <laughs> it's called a tripod. Shut up, Mr. Licorice. Shut up, Mr. No, his name's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Mr. Licorice. <laughs> I'm not a Twizzler. Is that your name? <laughs> I'm that real licorice. Would you be black licorice or of red course. licorice? Of course. Black ri licorice is the only real licorice, and it has plenty of anise in it. <laughs> that's that's the uh, the spice that gives it that taste. They also put a lot of that in uh, uh, Jägermeister or uh, Uzo or yeah, uh, I mean, Sambuca. <laughs> Those kind of drinks anise. are very rich in anise. For myself. I don't... Anise rich. Her... Uh, Little she, uh, pasta I, doesn't look too I'm bad. I'm okay with buying stuff that's not my style, like the Prince's House, for instance. It's crystal. It looks like crackaroni. It's quality glass. Sandal it's not my style, and but I anise know, so, and are plus, two different you know, I'm not, flavors. Like, to keep it, you know. Ignore them, Billy. Ignore them. It was four of them. For, I don't know why they're it was over here. Bring up fennel in an anise conversation. I do have a small tripod. I just need like a phone. I See? Phone she does all. hear me. She does hear Mr. me. Mr. Licorice strikes again. Mr. <laughs> Licorice knows what's up. All right. Yeah, that's that's all we're I, I wanted to see her eat the food and then I was like, no, nah, all right, I think we're done. Okay. Yeah. So let's check out some other stuff. Whoo. Uh I guess we'll talk about OJ here, so that's that's part of the news. So we're gonna do DP Action News. Here we go. He called me sir. It got me so humiliated. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow, they're laughing at us at our stupidity. So he was 76. He died uh, with cancer, uh, which I don't think he publicly released. I don't think any I, I don't think that that was public knowledge. Uh, he was a psycho, <laughs> most likely murdered people, uh, also went to prison for kidnapping people and uh, all kinds of stuff. So not yeah. a really nice guy. Great football player. He had a really clean public image, too, before the murder trial. He actually, uh, you know, he was in the uh, he was in uh, the Naked Gun movies and he was the spokesman for Hertz rental cars. And yeah, he was a very well liked guy. He, so. he was being looked at to play the Terminator, but they decided he was too nice to play the Terminator. So they went with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Good morning, I'm Diana Seda. We're coming on the air because we have breaking news. O.J. Simpson has died. His family says Simpson died yesterday, saying he succumbed to his battle with cancer, surrounded by his children and grandchildren. It was revealed in February that Simpson was battling prostate cancer, but he oh, refuted I had no idea. Not that I really cared. Time ...that but. he was in hospice care. ABC Look at him looking for the real killers on the golf course there. I think he uh, there could because he said he wouldn't re when when he was acquitted of murder, 
he said he would not rest until the real killers were found. And then every day after that, he was like on a golf course playing golf. So he went uh, he went on record saying he would have taken a bullet for Nicole Brown Simpson. It sucks her killer used a knife. He must have had uh some evidence showing that the killers were into golf. So. Yeah, you never know. The the killer could have been on the grassy knoll, the the Knollwood Country Club grass. T News audio reporter Alex Stone joins me now on the phone. Alex, what do we know at this point? Well, Diane, his family, as you mentioned, says that he died yesterday, we believe, in Las Vegas, where he had been living. It was only a couple of weeks ago where he had refuted the claims that he was in hospice care right around the Super Bowl. Word had come out that he may have been in hospice care, and he put out a video on X saying that he was fine, looking like he was going to to go golfing. His impact on Southern California and really the world cannot be overstated. Going back to his time in the NFL and uh, at USC and then then the NFL, then the the infamous trial in the 90s for the the double murder of Nicole Brown Simpson and and Ron Goldman, he was acquitted of that. There were a number of years where he was in and out of the the headlines, and then we covered for a number of months the hotel room armed robbery case in Las Vegas. The hotel room armed robbery case where he was charged with kidnapping – because he was holding people. So what what happened was he when he was kind of down on his luck, he sold a bunch of his sports mem- memorabilia to these collectors and then tried to come and like force them at gunpoint to sell it back to him. And that's what this was. <laughs> He's one of the greatest football players ever. Uh, yeah. like it, it's it's crazy. So Not not great at making deals though. No, at playing football he ended up going to prison for that got out had been living in las vegas his family now saying on x that that he has died diane alex he became such a national focal point yeah every time i hear that it makes me think they're fucking tripping balls on some he's on x he's on x ring that trial for the murders of his wife and uh, his ex-wife at the time and, and her friend what legacy does O.J. Simpson leave behind now? That was his ex-wife now? at the time? Yes. They were they, they were at least separated, but he was, like, really possessive, and he found out she was with another man, and, ele- well, the the allegation was that he freaked out and killed them both. He was found not guilty, but dead? most people believe he was, like, he had killed them. Now that he's dead, can, can you not slander the dead? Is it impossible to slander the dead? What? <laughs> I heard there was like a law that when someone's dead, you, you no longer have to Who say Who told allegedly. you? Where'd yeah. you hear it from? I, I, I you didn't a, hear it. You didn't hear it writers. from anybody. You did yeah, not hear yeah, that. The, the, Stop you're lying. To lie about Stop lying. Book as long as they're dead. Okay, you didn't hear that. The, the football part of it, the the voices in your head are what you heard he it from. Yeah. The Hertz commercials running oh, through allegedly, the Allegedly, I've heard he that was before. The biggest of the big star before that trial. And then the shock of the trial, there are many Americans who will always believe that he committed that double murder. Others who believe that, that he did not. You remember the lines that came out of that? I wonder that? if anybody if believes just- he killed one of them but not the other. No. Like, what if he walked in and the uh, the, the waiter lover of Nicole had killed her and he saw him had killed his, his ex-wife and in a fit of rage he murdered was it Mark was it Furman or that was that was the, the cop I can't remember the guy's name Ronald but he Goldman murdered, yeah he murdered Ronald Goldman after Ronald Goldman killed his beautiful ex-wife and he murdered him and then got away it wouldn't have like, been murder it wouldn't have been murder because it would have been you, you could have claimed <laughs> <that you'd seen laughs> <that you'd seen laughs> I could even read all that. Please credit at the end of show. Yes. So, uh, no, it would have been murder necessarily, and yes, he would have just reported that to the police. So, yeah. Does not fit. You must acquit. the The impact of that trial. For those who were not alive during that time or not old enough to remember it, was incredible. The whole world watching that trial during that time, the whole world watching TV and listening to the radio, waiting for that verdict to come down. And then when it came down, 
much of America did not agree with it. And then he was sometimes almost comically in and out of the, the headlines over many years. And then to get in trouble again in Las Vegas to get back his own memorabilia. He got into the memorabilia trade and selling his items over many years and then went into to retirement, always claiming he was looking for the, the real killers of Nicole Brown Simpson and, and Ron Goldman. There, there were always those who were saying he wasn't doing enough to do that if he really was not involved in, in the murders. But he, he then went into retirement in Florida and Nevada and uh, had been relatively quiet over the last couple of years. All right. Yeah, so... Uh... Good riddance. No, I don't really care what I, it's. It is weird that it was such big news. It was like the first news story. It was like the top news story I saw when I woke up this morning. I do want to say that the uh, the dono that came in earlier, uh, basically, who made the gif? Uh, I don't. I don't know who made it. Uh, I just saw it posted randomly, and I downloaded it, and yeah, but yeah, it's hilarious. I do want to, um, I do need to lower the volume in it, but I'm going to have to put it into uh, Premiere and lower the volume of it there. Uh, so, yeah. yeah um, Today, get all those loud-ass Ben giggles in before it's too late. <laughs> FOMO, FOMO Ben giggles, $12 Ben giggies. Revolting Machine made it? Awesome. Thank you, Revolting Machine. It's hilarious. I love it. Uh, dude, this I, this is a local news story that I saw this morning, and I was so pissed off about it. Like, this is absolute craziness. And this, is, this, is, this story is kind of a downer, but it's... People send in stuff about people abusing animals, and I usually won't play it on the show if it shows it. But this, the news didn't even, there is video of this be happening, but they didn't want to show it on the local news. Check this out. The year old and his mother both answered the door. They declined to comment. But according to court documents, it's likely Youssef mistook Stevie as another dog that he says had been terrorizing him for over a decade. <gasps> Stevie. So th some dude like went and shot this woman's dog in her yard thinking that the dog was like a dog that had been uh, that had like attacked him over for over a decade. But the dog was only like four years old. So the guy I, I don't know, but he shouldn't be walking around with a gun. Oh, shit. Oh, why you got to put a cute pup? And in the same video dog. where a dog was murdered. So that's the you're dog. My, you're con that's the same dog? Yeah, dude. That's why they're Damn showing it. it. Oh, smart. It was a four-year-old Qatar street dog. She quickly became more than just a pet for Michelle Michaels, who rescued her furry best friend. The two met through her volunteer work at Fur Bay. For the last three and a half years, their weekends have been filled with unconditional... Yeah, so it, it's, it was a street dog from Qatar. So they were like, there was like a whole organization that was rescuing homeless dogs from Qatar and, and bringing them over to be adopted. Wow. Love and I bet this affection. asshole didn't even give the dog any leftover bacon before doing what he did. Her favorite place. I'm so heartbroken. I just want to eat with me so bad. Michelle's loyal so, companion was killed so last sad. Thursday. And I heard what I assume sounded like a gunshot. I didn't know. Uh, I, I'd probably want to run someone over with my car if they shot my dog. Like, I would be, uh, I would probably yeah, want to run them over. Jumped out I would happily run them over. I would maybe even think of something more meticulous and direct. But uh, definitely, we're Window. run over with a car is reasonable. She was playing in the street. Michelle was at home working. She ran outside. Oh, this is on 125th? Some people tried, but he was still standing there with a the gun. <laughs> Nobody could come close. She did the only thing she could do. She picked Stevie uh, up and ran back home with her. And I held on to Man, her. the dog is always so cute. Yep. 
It had <laughs> floppy, <laughs> furry, floppy ears. According to court documents, 21-year-old McGonagall... Here it is. A 21-year-old... Yusuf is charged with one count of animal cruelty for shooting Stevie. He claims the dog came at him and nipped at his jeans. However... There's video and eyewitnesses of this, and none of them say that that... None of them say that that happened. A witness said Stevie was just standing there when it was shot. By the time police arrived, Yusuf was home and Stevie had died. Just took my baby. Officers knocked on his door, just four homes down from where Stevie and Michelle live. His mother claimed Stevie had been terrorizing her son for 13 years. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. What? This mother has has problems too. No, no wonder her son, who's an adult, like a young adult, would do something like this because you're going to make excuses. Oh, this dog was terrorizing my son for 13 years. What? And the dog is only four years old, by the way. Yet officers and from know- Qatar. Stevie is only four. Police and animal control both made it clear Yusuf didn't have any cuts and his jeans weren't torn. There's a part of me that just wishes they just knew who Stevie was. A really sweet dog. Michelle has a return home as a 21-year-old is out on bail. The shooting was actually captured on her neighbor's home surveillance. Those images are just too graphic and painful for us to share with you. Michelle's now raising awareness for dog rescues, and we have details on we how you can help. should have a DP meetup Steve- in this guy's front yard. Uh, that, yeah, He's that memory sounds alive. fun. Up on our website, fox13seattle.com. Alejandro Guzman. Fox 13 News. So I tried to get a photo of Yusuf to show you, but under Washington state law, they don't release booking photos unless there's a warrant for their arrest. If he doesn't show up to court, a warrant will be issued. And get this, get this. On June 6th, a new law against animal cruelty is going to go into effect here that moves it from like a year in jail to two to five years in jail. But this guy is going to get away with the lower sentence because of the timing of the whole thing. It's like, why don't new laws take effect on the first of the year? I want that guy minecrafted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah at that time, big I get blocks. A photo, but we can't show you what he looks like at this time. If convicted, a suspect could face up to a year behind bars. It could have potentially been longer, but a bill imposing tougher criminal penalties for animal cruelty convictions won't take effect until June 6th. The new law elevates the sentencing range for first-degree animal cruelty from zero to 364 days behind bars to two to five years. Yeah, so that's a huge difference. Like, the minimum is twice as much as it used to be, and it could be as much as five times. I kind of want to wrangle up all the coyotes and just let them loose in this guy's yard. Uh, yeah, I'm. It's. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> I don't want to say too going, much. I'm just going coyote hunting. Yeah. But but catch and release. <sighs> Dude, I didn't know this. So the next news story, I didn't know this, but in Vietnam. They have the death penalty for, like, financial crimes. Like, in the U.S., most states don't even have the death penalty, but the ones that do, it's only for first-degree murder. This is, like, this woman committed a huge... Like, it was a lot of money and fraud, but this would not get you even life in prison here, let alone the death penalty. So, here, here it is. Hello, I'm Regina. It's a she, by the way. Then welcome to this hour. In the past few minutes, a court in Vietnam has sentenced a wealthy property developer to death for defrauding a bank of billions of dollars. 67-year-old Trong Mai Lan was found guilty of embezzlement, bribing state officials and violating bank lending regulations after she used her hidden ownership of the Saigon Commercial Bank to channel $44 billion of loans to her own companies. It's been described as one of the greatest bank frauds in history. Well, for more on this, we can mm. go straight to Bangkok and join our Southeast Asia correspondent, Jonathan Head. First of all, Jonathan, if you could just tell us a little bit more about what the court said today and the background to this case. Uh, well, the, the court's been giving enormous amounts of detail about this case. Uh- Uh, I just don't agree with giving the government the ability to put people to death. And we know that our justice system isn't perfect. And I think if even one person gets put to death uh, incorrectly, it's one person too many. So we're better off not even having that. And studies show that 
uh, the the severity of a punishment isn't usually a good deterrent for people. They'll they don't believe they'll get caught, so they don't really ever think of the consequences, no matter how severe I, they are. I I agree with that on a lot of levels, but I'm kind of liking the idea of death penalty for billionaires. If you're a billionaire and you do something wrong, because paying a fine. Doesn't matter to a billionaire. It's nothing. Well, it wouldn't be a fine. It would be like jail time in most places. So it's five. They don't normally. Well, I mean, there are fines too, but it's usually like, you know, two, three decades in jail. Weeks. Kind of like um, the so idea everyone for in death Vietnam penalty knows a, for billionaires, though. A lot about it. That's not. Uh, that's quite unusual. There. Um, they've wanted the public to know about this case. Um, it, it is extraordinary. The amounts of money are absolutely staggering. We're talking about a significant chunk of Vietnam's GDP that this woman was able to siphon off over 11 years of through these um, secretly channeled loans that went through a whole bunch of front companies and proxies to her own companies. Um, the prosecutors believe that of that 44 billion, perhaps 27 billion dollars may never be recovered. Um, that is a staggering loss and will be very, very tough for the state bank uh, to, to, to make. Like, like if the death penalty was a proper deterrent for murder, then we would be seeing like staggering lower murder rates in states that do still have the death penalty and that's not the case so it's i mean we can look at the raw data and just see that it doesn't work like someone who's messed up enough in the head to like premeditate a murder isn't thinking about the consequences uh and like and then people like mass shooters and stuff they're ready to die anyway pick up in terms of saving the bank um Really, the authorities have sort of blamed Chong Mi Lan and, and, and have talked about the way in which she was bribing officials and the kind of sophistication of this, this network. And really, the, it, it is part of an ongoing anti-corruption campaign that's been going for several years, led by the communist authorities who say they're determined to stop. But yeah, a lot of those like southeastern Asian countries have severe punishments for a lot of crimes. Uh, you know, like we we know about Indonesia and and uh, Malaysia and uh, Singapore. They all have the death penalty for drug possession and that kind of stuff. Uh, and you can get like beaten for like not flushing a toilet or, or yeah. graffiti or whatever. Yeah. But of course, it does raise a lot of questions, which is how was it that this woman, she's very high profile. She's one of the biggest property owners in, in Vietnam. How was she able to do that for 11 years? And of course, officially, the authorities say, well, she was paying off this person and that and hiding this and that. But it is extraordinary that it went on for 11 years without being stopped. And I think those questions still hang over whether the Vietnamese authorities are capable of Can rainy. we follow the money trail and start popping off all the people she paid? <laughs> In this kind of fraud. And Jonathan, you say that this was a trial that was followed by so many people in Vietnam and Chong Milan is a well-known property developer in the country, but now she faces the death penalty. That itself is extraordinary. Normally the death penalty is not usually handed down on women, but I think this case was so exceptional in terms of its scale and the damage it's done to Vietnam's finances, they probably felt they needed to make an example of her. They may also be trying to encourage her to give as much money back as, as they can get her to do. This is something the other um, 80 defendants in court today have largely done. They, the yeah, I'm wondering, like, how... I wonder, like, the overall Vietnamese economy can't be that huge... So someone laundering that much money is yeah. catastrophic to their economy. Like yeah, here, saying that here there's tons of billionaires. Here's their, here there's tons of billionaires that have like over $10 billion, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. That's, more minor, of course, but crazy. these are all the people accused of conspiring with her, including, for example, a chief inspector at the state bank who was bribed $5 million, according to prosecutors, in order to look the other way. They've all pleaded guilty and offered to bring back as much money as they can. I think the state believes that Trung Milan must have far more assets that she can return to the state to try and make up this massive hole in this bank's finances. Okay. You imagine, like, if... if <laughs> If they would have given Martha Stewart the death penalty for the, like, uh, insider trading. <laughs> yeah. You know, like. Was she a billionaire? She probably is close to. Uh, let's see how much she's worth. Uh, yeah, if she was a billionaire then, then death penalty. Oh, whatever. Hot take, Billy. 
Let's there see. There are so 400. few billionaires she's that got, need to be held to a higher status. She's got almost uh, a half a billion. She's, it, I mean, that's the money we know about. You know, four four hundred okay. million. Um, she might she have had live. to. She might have had. She might have lost a lot of money from the time she was in prison, and she probably had to pay fines and stuff. Uh, the the bigger travesty is that she went to like you know a rich person's prison. Not not a normal federal prison, but like a, a minimum security prison that's a lot less dangerous. A part of that was her age too. Well, um, should she like? I don't think anybody should go to the dangerous prisons, though. Unless you're like, dangerous. Well, yeah, yeah. If you're dangerous, you kind of yeah, have to yes, be. But yes, like someone who got in trouble for like hacking into something shouldn't go to the same prison that like a mo- like a mass murderer goes to. I don't think like we should separate the violent criminals from the nonviolent ones. Absolutely. Yeah, you should you should be able to request whether or not you want to go to the pound me in the ass prisons. I don't think you should be able to request what prison you go to. Um it we should just look at the situation and know. Here's um Oh, here's here's another one. People going to prison. The uh, there was a a school shooter in Michigan, and I, this is kind of a landmark case where they're holding the parents accountable because it was a minor who got a hold of his parents' unsecured gun and used it to kill a whole bunch of people. And did he, he say something to his parents about doing it, and they ignored it? Uh maybe Not that might Michigan, have... where James and Jennifer Crumbly, the first parents ever to be convicted in a child's school mass shooting tonight now sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison each i've been saying this the like ever since this kept happening because it was uh, most of the time the gun was obtained from their own home they didn't like go out and buy it on the black market or anything their parents uh didn't secure it properly and you should like the weapon is your responsibility and your kids are your responsibility Someone says, I thought they bought him the gun. That's, uh... I mean, if they did, then it, it was illegal. And there was the a Michigan lot of couple- warning signs, and the parents did nothing. Couple together for the first time since their arrest. Like, you, you can't own a handgun legally until you're 21. After their son's deadly rampage, their son using a gun they bought him as a gift. The father apologizing in court today, but then the families of the four teens who died with their own words for each of those parents. ABC's Trevor Alt from Michigan tonight. Tonight, the historic sentence for James and Jennifer Crumbly, a Michigan judge sending the parents to prison for 10 to 15 years, the maximum sentence for failing to prevent their son's mass shooting. These convictions are not about poor parenting. These convictions confirm repeated acts or lack of acts that could have halted an oncoming runaway train. Despite the warning signs, the Crumbleys bought their son the gun, declining to take him home from school when called in about his disturbing drawings. The mor- how old was he? Like, how old is he? ...of the massacre. The couple today together for the first time since their arrest, making an appeal for leniency. Please know that I am truly very sorry. I am sorry for your loss as a result of what my son did. This could be any parent. Here my, up here in my shoes. Ethan could be your child. The families of the four children killed rejecting that argument. It wasn't possible for Hannah to outrun the bullets spot by you, Jennifer Crumley, which were fired by the 9mm Sig Sauer that you, James, gifted to your son. Saying Hannah St. Juliana, Justin Schilling, Tate Meir, and Madison Baldwin would all still be alive had the Crumleys done their job as parents. When you texted, Ethan, don't do it. I was texting Madison, I love you, please call mom. The prosecution blasting the Crumbly's chilling lack of accountability. They do nothing and then they come here today and they claim they're victims. The judge saying she decided to sentence the Crumbly's beyond the suggested state guidelines because of the catastrophic ah. impact. Yeah, so of their- she, she went beyond the suggestion. Crimes. Each of the defendants gross negligence has caused unimaginable suffering to hundreds of others as a result of what happened that day. 
David, these trials were watched very closely. They are certainly precedent setting. The first parents held criminally responsible for their child school shooting. And tonight, the prosecution says James and Jennifer Crumbly have been held to the highest level of accountability under the law in Michigan. David, Trevor Ault, who has covered this case from the start for us. Trevor, thank you. Now let's start suing these establishments for allowing the school shootings to continue to happen. And then the insurance companies won't want to pay out. So the insurance companies will start voting to make guns illegal. Insurance, insurance companies, companies run this country. Oh, okay. insurance companies run this country. If they start, if they start to okay. get sued okay. and have to pay out lawsuits, come on, dude, let's they stop. Will make these guns. This illegal. is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. It's the truth. We got to attack the insurance companies, people. Save our children. We're going to go. Uh, here's another thing that uh, in Idaho, this teen was about to attack churches. Prosecutors the chicken say place this or is the, the suspect. 18-year-old Alexander Mercurio posing in front of an ISIS flag. According to the criminal complaint, he allegedly told associates he had spent months formulating a plan to attack churches and kill parishioners in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. The FBI arresting him the day before they say he planned to carry it out. Mercurio allegedly wrote in a text message he would walk into a church, start beating people, and then kill them with his knives and machete, saying he would burn down the building. He said he would keep going until police killed him. That message allegedly sent last week to a confidential FBI informant. So he's like LARPing. <laughs> he's a LARPing. Good. He's LARPing as a member of ISIS. His arrest, the FBI sees. Like whatever happened to, you know, I don't know, getting a tattoo or something or like it's, it's just such a weird way to rebel. Using knives, a machete and butane. Intelligence officials have been warning about the risk that disaffected Americans could become lone wolf attackers, especially after the Hamas terror attack and ensuing war in Gaza. The FBI director just today. The ongoing war in the Middle East has raised the threat of an attack against Americans inside the United States to a whole nother level. The potential for a coordinated attack here in the homeland is now increasingly concerning. Mercurio's alleged plot has echoes of the recent deadly ISIS-K attack on a Moscow concert hall. Court records describe Mercurio as a disillusioned teenager radicalized with ISIS propaganda during pandemic school lockdowns. Man, the, US and the pandemic, pandemic was hard on everybody. Yeah, it had so many weird effects over people and society and the economy and everything. It's it, I would have okay, never have wait. imagined it. Intelligence bulletin issued Friday warns of an elevated ISIS. risk of ISIS-inspired attacks on sports stadiums, concert venues, and churches here in the U.S. Thanks for watching. Stay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he totally could have got down the MAGA rabbit hole like every other 17-year-old boy did. Why ISIS? Uh. The new national standard for drinking water announced by the White House. So they're, they're going to put like a, I, I think this is the first uh, ever that they're going to make like a national standard, which means the Flint water needs to get cleaned up. This soon. morning, the Biden administration uh -oh. is announcing the first ever national standard for some harmful chemicals in drinking water. The White House says it will protect 100 million Americans. Senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy is in Los Angeles. Ben, good morning. Nate, good morning. So these chemicals are known as PFAS, which stands for per and polyfluoral alkyl, but we generally just call them forever chemicals because they don't break down easily and they can last for thousands of forever? years in the environment. Now, the new EPA rule out this morning requires public drinking water systems to monitor, reduce, and report high levels of six of the most common and toxic PFAS. That's a whole lot of pee things inside of yeah. the uh, water. PFOS. I that much pee stuff inside of my water. PFOS. In our nation's drinking water. The EPA says 6 to 10% of the 66,000 public drinking water systems in the country. Oh, uh, water that gets peed in ends up eventually getting recycled and yeah, well, right. I mean, we need to make changes. Contrary to, to popular belief, piss is not a forever chemical. No standards. 
Now, exposure to high levels of these forever chemicals has been linked to cancers, liver and heart issues, and developmental issues for infants and children. The EPA says this oh, new rule man. will prevent thousands of deaths and reduce tens of thousands of serious illnesses. Now, there are about 15,000 different types of these human-made chemicals. They're used in everyday products, including food packaging, water-resistant clothing, nonstick cookware, ah. and cosmetics. In fact, yeah, I stopped using nonstick. Me. They're so widely used, they've been detected in the blood I of humans and animals though. all over the world. Now, public water systems will have three years to measure and report the level of these chemicals in their water supply. If they exceed yeah, the new for real. standard, Aaron Brockovich, Aaron Brockovich sued for this 20 years ago. And just now, just now, come on. They have two years to make sure they meet them. Nate. Ben, thank you. Two years. How about one year? How about somebody gets uh, the death penalty for allowing this to happen for so long? Uh, oh, Donald Trump goes to Chick-fil-A. Oh? Yeah. I'm going right. to like when this. When you are watching live now from Fox, we appreciate all our viewers continuing to watch us. Of course, uh, they get the, break, the fat we guy to cover the fast food segment. Listening to comments from the former president, Donald Trump, in Georgia for a private fundraiser. And happening now, before that fundraiser, it looks like he has did a surprise visit at a fast food location in Georgia. Let's listen <laughs> on live now. Chicken. I'm going to take care of the customers. <laughs> I know you all like chicken. You're all frying up the chicken. You like the chicken. It's the best chicken. Came in here and asked myself who'd be cooking the chicken, and all you fine people are cooking the chicken. Thank you very Is he not much. ordering anything? So we'll order 30 milkshakes, we'll give them out to the people who will- 30 milkshakes? Some for ourselves, okay? Good. Thank you very much, everybody. 30 milkshakes. Is he going to pay? Hasn't he done this before, where he makes a big order, then leaves? Hello. And doesn't pay a for great, it? Great American franchise, to play. It is. It's a great franchise. The owner is a great man who is a member of one of my clubs, and he's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, they do very well. They're closed on Sunday. I knew chicken. he was going to mention that. I knew it. That's the Lord's chicken. There's been a few right. times where I wanted a nice chicken sandwich on a Sunday. Thank you Had to go much. to Wendy's. But they have a Chick-fil-A uh, at the uh, Atlanta Falcons football stadium, which is weird. And it's, because it's open on Sundays? No, it's not. And most... Most NFL games happen on Sunday, but not all. There there are Monday games, wow. and there's a game on a Thursday every now and then. Um, and then they have other events at the stadium, you know, that aren't on Sundays. But, yeah, it is weird when you hear about it. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Get ready for a milkshake. You got plenty of them. All right. <laughs> you got plenty of good guys. This is an original. He's, he's Get ready for a milkshake. He's buying a milkshake for everybody, and then he's he going to leave. He said 30 milkshakes, and yeah. he hasn't paid for them. 2016. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> I like that guy. Do you have a pen for me? Give me a good pen. <laughs> That's your, that is the original, huh? 2016, Cleveland. Well, you've been there from the beginning. Absolutely. Guys. See? You knew what was happening. Absolutely. You got it. <laughs> That's cool, man. I don't name? see him Orange signing Street. a check, just a hat. Is he going to try and sell that hat for milkshake money? What the hell? Pay for the milkshakes, Trump. Okay, Let me get this pen out of here. Come here. Thank you. Pleasure. 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 He understood long before the rest, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You are fantastic. Thank you, brother. You know Shelly? Yes. A great host. And are you guys are friends show? or something? No, just like that. Are you guys friends or something? He's been there a long time, too. Yes. I think right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. We did a radio interview with Shelly. Yes. He still, like, it was very common in the 80s to have a hairstyle that covered the tops of your ears. Like, a lot of dudes had that. And Trump kind of... Trump is still... His style is still stuck in the 80s when he was, like, a young man, you know? 
So he kind of replicates that style, and he's never broken away from that. So he's still kind of got the mullet. Fix it. Yeah. <laughs> he wears the big suits that aren't really well-fitting, and that was an 80s thing. I'd like to have room to hide my snacks and my suits. Appreciate you very much. I hung up. I said, what a nice guy that is. <laughs> right, I'll, be, I'll bring in my clubs tomorrow. I'll just you let me know. Door. I'm telling you. You let me know, Thank Shelley. you, brother. Watch his show. His show is great. Listen to his show. Absolutely. I've heard his hair described as multiple continents. Like they they don't all necessarily touch. Like at one point it was Pangea. There's multiple. Yeah, yeah. And then it broke apart. And then uh, there there are multiple sections of his hair that don't. That have parts between them. He has multiple parts. Uh, he got it. Yeah. You two guys got it. He has conversion <laughs> zones. Yep. Kids do too. I think yeah. so. Tectonic plates, if you will. Thank you. So you're getting lots of milkshakes. Look at that handsome guy. I wish I had hair like him. Right here. Uh, he's on the menu. Oh, yeah. It's not nice. Hi, fellas. Hi, fellas. Hi, I can only imagine the Secret Service agents that have to protect Trump. They must have some interesting stories that they can't tell. They, they're, they're not allowed to tell them, but they must have some interesting ones. Hello, you know, you Everybody having a good time? Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Can I get a hand? I mean, Trump Trump does poll pretty well with black voters, surprisingly well. You know, it's it's uh, there's something going on. Ready. <laughs> yeah, I'd give you one. Make oh, <laughs> you have one? Y'all got one. Oh, 20, 24. Come on, man. You have it, I'll sign it. I don't got one. I need one. Maybe <laughs> you can find one. I gotta give you one. I love Trump. Yeah, I'm just oh, that's my one. original. <laughs> don't give me that one. No. That's a valuable one. Grab one of these. Yeah, There's all the milkshakes. Oh wow! I'm giving all the milkshakes to all my African Americans. Your family's good, right? Sir. Food color. That's good. We're not gonna let him read this. We're not letting him read Stop this. The Stop the steal. Stop the steal. Take that. Take that. That's gonna make you good and healthy. <laughs> He's adding a milkshake. He says, "Take that. That's gonna make you good and healthy." Good and healthy. <laughs> I want Gail Cord Schuler to write a story about Trump at the Chick Fil A. Oh my goodness! Trump out at the Chick Fil A. Trump out at the at the Chick Fil A. You know why? Because you're thin. Because you're thin. You're thin. And Trump was double fisting milkshakes at the Chick fil A. Yep. <laughs> so, Brian Jack, does anybody know Brian Jack? Nope. Brian Jack is running District 3. We got to vote. Oh, that's the local Republican. He's running for Congress. The He's local running Trump. District 3. Yep. I do. I put canvassers together. So all these HBCU students that yeah. you see here, oh. I brought them here to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, we've also knocked doors for you in the past. This was the woman yelling, stop the steal a mi- past, few minutes ago. You did and when you ran the first time. Yes. Wow. I was interning for the GAGOP at that time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Doing a lot for your tax credit reform bill and everything like that. Well, we so, took yes. care of those they, colleges. And sure did. Yeah. Sure did. Much better than Biden did, so I was there. Sure did. This is Clark Atlanta. This is Stoneman. This is Morehouse. This is Morris Brown. Wow. Isn't that great? So I don't care what the media tells you, Mr. Trump. Thank we support you. you. Uh, we support okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let now. me give you a hug. Oh! Oh! Let's go. I don't see Biden hugging anybody of age. He's grabbing her by the pussy right now. She could be the next Mrs. Trump. Trump can mix it up a little bit. You know? <laughs> Thank you, Serena. That's really nice. No, we did. We took care of the... Uh, 
the black colleges, universities, they're taking care of now, and she understands it. A lot of people don't understand it. Biden did nothing for them, and I did, mm-hmm. I did everything. I did everything. Tell them how y'all been suffering. Y'all. I did everything. <laughs> Trump's got his vagina neck showing right now. Do you see that? That sweet wolf pussy? Yeah. That's really nice, huh? There's no housing. Yeah. Yeah. You know each other. You two know each other. You should. That's my, that's my, that's my mentee. Yes. Oh, I you know. Pick me up he's in 2017, great. Mr. Trump, and he's been a great mentor ever since then. Oh, uh, I'll tell you what. And he's a great mentor to me, too. We had a great talk yesterday. Absolutely. Right? You Absolutely. know, that talk got covered all over the place. We went all over the place. I went all over the world, that talk. <laughs> with with your I got in trouble guy. with uh, the team. All over the world. All over the world. my time, Trump's about to win Georgia this year, isn't he? I don't know. It was. I mean, this is this is not an indication of of anything. This is like what, like fifty people at a at a Chick Fil A, but and thirty he, milkshakes. He could. I mean, he could. He almost won last time. He was really close. He just barely lost. So I guess we'll see. Right. Um, we'll do it again. <laughs> I like how the polls are always wrong and rigged unless they say Trump is winning and now they're like true and that's what's real now. <laughs> so we'll see. So when I met you in the Oval Office, I left my pen you gave me. No, uh, yeah, Seth, you're right. Uh, the president, current and past presidents, don't normally stop randomly at places. Because the Secret Service has to go there first and make sure everything's cool and that there's no, like, sketchy people that could do anything weird there. So, yeah, it's all predetermined. Yeah, this is not just like, oh, he just like, oh, let me go to that Chick-fil-A randomly while they were driving down the street. Nothing, th- that never happens. <laughs> all right, uh, let's do... Let's switch to something different. We're going to go into antagonism. Here we go. We're trying to get to 50% of the goal before the end of this show. We're at 44.48%. If you would be so kind as to help us out, get a little bit closer to that goal, we'd really appreciate it. And as we said earlier, the $12 level is loud right now, and I'm going to have to fix that. Before the next stream, so right now you should uh, you should blast our eardrums with the hee hees. Hee hee. All right. Um, I did want to play uh, this. It's it's Jared. Oh, did you did you hear about Jared's double down that he did? Uh, KFC double down? No. Um, where is it? It's this one. I'm going to play. I don't, I don't want to play this whole one because I've already played it on the show, but I want to show you what he says at the beginning of this really quick here. Oh shit. That's not it. That is CM Punk beating up. Uh, what's his name? Um, oh. it is here. It is right here. What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. So, um, yeah, people are still on that shit with John K. And I just find it fucking ridiculous. Uh, Might as well fucking talk about it. I really have nothing else to talk about today. So (laughs) let's get into it, as Keemstar likes to say. Listen to what he says here. (laughs) Like these next few sentences are just... How can he ever claim he was just making edgy jokes? So, first of all, let me just say this shit, okay? I do not believe in age of consent. 
I think that, you know, miners can make their own mind up about shit. And I think people who do are, in fact, ageist. Um, I think if you do not support all colors of the rainbow, you are a bigot. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that one, but I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So there's that. That was a video he made like a day or two ago. So he's uh, all about putting maps on the LGBTQ flag. Yes, he is. Bringing them back on. Yes. Uh, here's uh, Here he is talking about Chris, the guy who made him... Uh, freak out and, uh, and uh, threaten his dad. Here it is. Back to shirtless mode. He wears this hat now all the time. So he's shirtless, but he has a bear hat. Kind of. It kind of looks like it. I think Rocky had a hat kind of like that in the first Rocky movie, too. Chris, my friend, it's officially over. <laughs> you lose. Game over. I didn't look into this, but I'm guessing nothing has happened to Chris. Uh, <laughs> like, he, he he tells everyone that he has me, like, running scared from him and that my channel got taken down. None of that happened. So, yeah, there's been zero running scared of Jared. Yeah, Jared, it's kind of, it's almost enviable in a way. In his own mind, he never loses. Even when he, like, loses so unbelievably bad. He in but his what own would happen mind, if he went up against G Man? That would be crazy. The world would explode. <laughs> it's like the the irresistible force meeting the immovable object right there. It'd be a win win. The the like the entire universe would end. Whatever you want to say. Funis, Fanish. I don't know, bro. I don't speak French. Um What? <clears throat> The tides of life always change. Remember that, guys. You know, if you're in a place right now where you're feeling down and you're feeling stuck, just know that the tables always turn. I knew Chris would get what's coming to him and a troll. I mean, is he in jail? Did someone kick his ass? Does he even claim what happened to Chris? Let's see. Well, let's just say he basically explained things to me. And... Um, I know karma is now. In oh, okay. So the people catfishing him, pretending like they're his friends, are just feeding him bullshit is what's happening. My favor. His mother is dead. Um, his YouTube channel is almost gone. I think he lost his Reddit. He is really, really doing bad. I mean, his mother being dead is pretty bad, but those other things... I. I don't know. And I don't think his YouTube channel's gone, by the way. And all I can say, bro, is you brought it on yourself, dude. You let pride destroy you. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. I tried to help you, man. I tried to even... Uh, just found one of Chris' channels. Definitely up. Uh, let's see. And apologize about his other and one. be the bigger man about it. But you couldn't even accept my fucking apology. What a twat. What an absolute twat. Yep. Both of Chris channels still are still up. So I don't I, Does he even. He just lists it. He just hears things and automatically believes them because he wants them to be true. So he doesn't look yeah. into it at all. But you can just search for it and it's there. But then and he wouldn't have anything to gloat about. Coward. But I would expect no less from this guy, you know. Um. <clears throat> Unfortunately, people like him never had a good male role model in their life, and so they have a lot of female qualities and are very, very emotional. So <laughs> good luck to you, bro, in your life. I'm sure you're probably back on welfare. Either that yeah, or you Jared have some... had such a good uh, male role model in his life that he has zero female qualities uh, if you consider a cooking and cleaning to be female qualities. Yeah. What about having breasts? Okay, he has some female qualities. Yeah. <laughs> a little gay boy Nazi lover like Alistair paying you, uh, you know, fucking rent money. <laughs> I don't really know. Eddie, Ed, he uh, resembles a, a pregnant female also because his belly doesn't just look like a fat guy's belly. It looks like a bloated, like, pregnant woman belly. Uh, I was thinking because of all that glowing he has from the sunscreen, he massively applies in layers to his sweaty body. That's his new uh, excuse for not working out, <coughs> is that it's, like, hot and there's mosquitoes outside. 
Uh. Oh, I don't really care. I'm sure you'll be fine, but let me just say this. Your YouTube career is officially over, okay? <laughs> You're ruined now, dude. It's over. Goodbye, Chris. I wish you well. I hope you, you know, uh, <clears throat> can get over whatever demons you're facing in your life. But it's more than apparent, dude, that you are a broken little boy. <laughs> you are broken to the core. He He's so good at projection, it's unbelievable. Because he'll say all of these things that could so easily apply to himself, but he doesn't even realize it. But look That's at what it. the majority of people do, though. There's so many people project. Not like he him. He has so much to project. <laughs> he projects way more he's, than most people. Because he's so fucked up. He has so many things wrong with him. There's there's not much there's not much going on with Jared that you can consider a, a positive. And I want you to know, dude, honestly, bro, I'm just praying for you. I hope you get help, man. Uh, you need Jesus. I know you claim to be a Christian, but you're obviously not one. You follow paganism. You follow, you know, stupid fucking fairy tales like Thor. No, 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 no. He's a white nationalist, so he's all into, like, this Nordic uh, mythology because a lot of white nationalists latch onto that shit because it makes them feel cool about being white. So that's why I he like does it. I like my Nordic mythology for other reasons than white nationalism. So I am praying for you and, you know, um, <laughs> rest in peace to your mom. She seemed like a sweet lady. I actually talked to her on Facebook back when Chris and I were friends. So that was kind of sad to hear. Um, I doubt he really even gave a fuck about her, though. You know, it's it's really quite sad and sick. Uh, I don't even gave a um, fuck about yeah, her. I'm the like reason what? that he moved back in with his mom. I snatched his SSI. <laughs> How? How did you do that? <laughs> he had it coming to him, bro. You know how? How did you do this, Jared? Explain. How did you get someone else's SSI taken away? How did you do that? Him and his little Nazi boyfriends wouldn't stop harassing me. He knows he fucked up. He knows he took it too far. He will just never admit. Oh, it. is that how it works? You can get someone's uh, government benefits taken away if they uh, make fun of you on the internet. That's how I got mine taken. Away. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn. This because narcissists can never be wrong, but he knows he took it way too far, and I'd be willing to bet he probably had someone swap my house. I don't think he did it. I don't think he has the balls to do something like that. But your house was never swatted. But I know he hung out with some sketchy people, you know, little four chan cucks, whatever. <laughs> Ali Star, for example. Oh, by the way, Ali Star, I never forgot when you came crying to me when your house got swatted. Oh, I don't know who that is. Shoot it. Oh, make him stop. <laughs> you guys can dish it, but you can't take it, can you, Felicia? Not that I had anything to do with it, because I don't. I don't need to do petty dumb shit like that to fuck with you guys. I can do it on my own. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need the help of any sort of stupid gimmicks, stupid... Uh, I mean, it's pretty petty to do false DMCAs and then like you, and then when someone files the counter notification, you leak the information that was in it. I mean... Yeah, Jared's a scummo. He's, yeah. he's petty. Yeah. <laughs> Anything he says he is, uh, it's always wrong. Yeah. He's a trash human. Uh, he's gone back and forth on whether or not he's a proud PDF file. He's he's all over the place. Gross. He's a horrible human being. He's done those things. He's tried every angle to try and attack you. He's done that to everybody he possibly can. He usually flubs all of it. He, yeah. He's he's a he's a bad person. It's a cycle. Through. It's a cycle. Like he. I knew eventually because it, it, it builds to him eventually doxing somebody or trying to get someone's channel terminated. And in the end, his channel gets terminated or gets a strike. And then part of the cycle is that he starts a new channel or he goes to another website for a couple days and then starts a new YouTube channel every time. And if you guys want to follow all of this, check out Egghead and his video. Yeah. Fucking, you know, tricks like that, if you want to call it that. 
Uh, swatting is for yeah. Egghead doesn't watch drunken peasants anymore because he's too busy watching Jared all the time. He Cowardly spends stupid. a lot of time, a lot with Jared. I've told him to like take a break. I, I was like, Jared, can you? Or I, I was like, Egghead, can you take a break from the Jared stuff? Just like maybe like twenty four hours or something. And he was like, Okay, well I'll just sit here and work on my script for my next video. And I'm like, Well, is that a Jared video? And he's like, Yeah. I'm like, Well, that's not taking a break from him. You need to like have <laughs> He'll probably inherit the house and shit it up. If they own the house, not if they're renting it. They probably own the house. How but, do you know? Uh, people of that age in that area probably bought. The, uh, you, you, so you have no actual reason. You just, you're just assuming. It's, it's generationally. It was I'm a lot pretty to sure the house then. was up for rent. I'm pretty sure they don't have a lot of money. Not enough money well, to buy a house. Well, um, if they bought it back in the day. No, they didn't. They just moved there. They just moved there like two to three years ago. They used okay. to live in they used to live in Kingwood, Texas, and now they live in like some other more rural area. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was up for rent, and it was on it was like listed on Zillow, and someone showed me what it looked like. Uh, yeah, yeah. People, I don't engage with that dumb shit. That's for fucking retards. Okay, not that I like the police, but I mean they have better shit to do than deal with us. <laughs> Let's just be honest, man. You know what I mean? Especially dealing with someone like Chris. I feel sorry for the police dealing with those kinds of retards. But, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Um, oh, by the way, yeah, where's your alpha beast, Chris? <laughs> How does it feel to know you got your life destroyed by someone who looks like Mario? <laughs> what? That shit was so hilarious, bro. The way that your face just got so shaken when he showed you that little memo. <laughs> you got so shook up and it's more than obvious, bro. You realized your life was over at that point and you got a taste of your own here. fucking medicine. How did it taste, bitch? Knowing that you can't go out in public without being seen as a, you know, a fucking creep or whatever. How does that fucking taste, bitch? How can she taste? <laughs> Knowing that people get into your personal life. And how fuck. can she slap like the the Elisa stuff made me think of how could she slap with your real life <laughs> shit doesn't taste good does it Chrissy no it doesn't your poor mother you know I'm sure she had to deal with a lot of crap from you but she's gone now she's probably in a better place so at least she doesn't have to deal with your bitch ass but uh I hope you get help for yourself dude I really do but the sad thing is he probably won't he will probably just die alone and miserable in his stupid little apartment or wherever he chooses to live in his fucking backwoods country home. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's actually where I live now. But uh, at least yeah. I don't live in a one-bedroom apartment, do I, Chris? That's right. No, he lived in a two-bedroom. Okay, now he's going to, like, flex the house that his parents pay for as if it's his and that it's bigger than a one-bedroom apartment. It's like, yeah. no. If someone has a one-bedroom apartment, that means the entire place is theirs to do with as they wish. If you live in a one-bedroom of your parents' house, that's a step below one-bedroom apartment. A couple steps below, actually. I think living in a sprinter van that you've bought and paid for or renting is better than living in your parents' room. Unless you're my parents, because my parents are sweet, and they need their little sweet boy living with them. Guess what, bitch? I'm in a three. <laughs> At least I got him one up by one bedroom. I got him by one bedroom. Hell yeah, bro. But see, that's the thing, dude. I can laugh at myself. Chris cannot. Chris is a fucking tight ass. He's one of those stupid ass people who can never be wrong. of Jared thinking paganism is a fairy tale, but thinking Christianity isn't one. I really hope Jared gets what he deserves in one way or another. He needs to be humbled. He needs to be humbled. He really does get what he deserves, though. Look at his fucking life. It's gross. It's sad. It's lonely. Um, he, he could get worse. He deserves worse. But he's he lives a terrible life. He is a he's a golem archetype. He is a schmiegel archetype. Schmiegel. He's got his. He's he's a schmiegel. He's a pathetic, gross entity. This is not a good. He life. is an entity. I I agree. 
pathetic. It's not a good life. And to never just, you know, make fun of himself and have a good laugh at his own expense. He's a fucking pussy, bro. He's just a stupid Whoa. little fucking tight ass bitch. Whoa. And um, that's why he's so unlikable, bro. He's got that little bitch boy attitude about him. You know what I mean? He doesn't know how to just loosen up and be fucking chill. He's He's got that little fucking... I don't know, dude. A little Nazi boy complex, I guess. <laughs> all Nazis Whoa. are, you know... Well, we all know they're gay, but they're also just very stuck up. You know, they have no Whoa. sense of humor. These 4chan cucks, they're just so... If if Jared's parents own their house, all he's inheriting is the equity of it, and then, like, what, however much they still own on, on it, because they're... It, People have people send me stuff about Jared all the time, and I guess uh, Jared's dad got taken to court for like a past due bill that he owed. Oh. Yeah, yeah. People send me all kinds of stuff about annoying. him. They're so ungodly annoying. But anyways, guys, I think I ranted enough about this clown. Um, he was at least good for some laughs. He was good for some memes. But yeah, his life is over now, and there's no there's no coming back from it. Chris. You're done for, dude. Okay, just give it up, man. He's not going to be able to pay property taxes or house payments, so the house would just get foreclosed on anyway. Um, <clears throat> and he'll have to get a one-bedroom you know, like Chris. Yeah, I mean, he he won't even be able to get one of those. You could start over if you wanted, but I don't think you really have that in you. So at this point, I would just say quit the internet, dude. Um you know, like you love to tell me. I don't me. see, without someone completely taking care of him, I don't see him being able to do anything. Uh, he, I don't want to see a homeless Jared Ark because that puts him closer to schools, puts him closer to children. Depending on where he is. I mean, right now he's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, if you're homeless, yeah. you would normally go into an urban area because there's people to beg for money from and garbage to eat. Yeah, that I like kind the of idea stuff. of him being packed away in a rural area. I will say, I notice when I watch Jared's videos where he shares his desktop, he always has a Zillow page open, and he's always looking at Beaumont, which is the closest city to where he is. Uh. So he probably has fantasies. Well, he does. He has these fantasies about hitting it big in crypto, and uh, moving out on his own, and then and like his channel blows up, and all that kind of stuff. That's his oh. like weird delusional fantasy. Getting his clock tower dream house. Yeah, kind of. Just get a job. It's his clock tower daycare center. Um, go work at Walmart. Go be a Walmart greeter. You know what I'm saying? Hello, welcome to Costco. I love you. <laughs> That's the only thing you could probably ever do. Uh, it's funny though, because I remember he lied about being a welder a few years ago. <laughs> I'm a welder. I like to, I like to glue metal together. I'm a man. I mean, that's that's a skill that is highly in demand. They need people to weld shit. So that's actually not a bad thing. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a man. Gluing my metal together, making fucking Legos. What? <laughs> autistic Legos. <laughs> Welding is really just autistic Legos. Is that what it is? That would be a perfect yeah. job for him. Make Welding giant is Legos. just autistic Legos. I, Legos fit together. They don't need to be like melted together. <laughs> Does Jared not know how Legos work? It, it, yeah, was, Jag, was Jared not smart enough to figure out how Legos fit together so he was like melting them together instead? That's what the autistic welders do. There he goes. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's what I got for you, man. Uh, I'm honestly going to miss this little twerp. I'm going to miss I will it. say, uh, Repsion recently was diagnosed as autistic, and he is a welder. <laughs> he is an autistic welder. Milady? This little shit, because... He's just, he was so cringy and he didn't even see it. And that's the great thing about narcissists is that they will never see how stupid they look. And it makes for great humor, you know? <laughs> they make for really great uh, clowns. Narcissists are awesome, by the way. They don't look stupid. 
Okay. They're fantastic. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Here's uh, Sturgis and his buddy doing their podcast together, uh, and they talk about us. Let's see. So apparently, you know, D- DP is still stalking me because they're, they're they're gay. Of course. Like I said. What? They must have really hurt their feelings. They, they can't stop. Oh, look, speaking of the, the Kobe guy, he yeah. responded to that tweet where I said, um, Puerto Rican, what now? If he I put, was gay, I would be getting a boner from this milky white arm. What? <laughs> That our boy renowned Zero is showing off. Look at that milky white arm. It is. That, ba- it's doughy. It's soft. That doughy pale thigh of an arm. You being Puerto Rican means oh. what? You're still not black. That Which, tasty, pasty fucking. Did you hear what he's talking tricep. about here, though? You're still not black. They're gay. Of course. Like I said, they can't must have really hurt their feelings. They, they can't stop. Oh, look. Speaking of the the Kobe guy. He yeah. responded to that tweet where I said, um, Puerto Rican, what now? He put, yeah. you being Puerto Rican means what? You're still not black. Yeah. Which which is funny because, well, he's probably at the bottom right. And, of course, somebody clips a button talking about, oh, he admits to being white here. Yeah. yeah. But I'm also, but I, I mostly identify as Puerto Rican. Oh, 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 you identify mostly, okay? You're, that doesn't so, mean you're not white, though. His pronouns are Puerto Rican? Yeah. PDF he's file He's playing Rican. the pronoun game? Yeah, that's what he's doing. Intersectional politics? I thought, we were, I thought we were complaining against that on this side. So it is confirmed Jared's parents own the house, but I don't think that'll change anything for Jared's future because he's not like he's not going to be able to stay living there if he doesn't pay for the house or the yeah, property. He'll at shit the, it up. At the very least, pro- property taxes. Like assuming they somehow did manage to pay for the whole house, which from what I understand, they they fi- they're not financially stable enough to do that. But even if they are, uh, even if they own the whole house somehow, like they had savings or whatever, they might have sold the old house and then they might have went into somewhere cheaper. Uh, that's why they're more rural now. You still have to pay property taxes, like even if you less. Yeah, so I I just feel like eventually Jared would have to. Jared Jared is not a sustainable existence without people caring for him. He's like a pet. He's like a hamster. You, hamsters don't have to wear clothes either. Um, hey, at least the Wookiees haven't ruined. Oh, <laughs> oh, they they're they're trying to get to that cherry blue. Guard your enemy. Gatekeep your enemy, please. Thank you for coming by, Jerry. Good to see you. Always. I think Jared would probably sell the house immediately after would he, he know got how? possession of it. How? I w- think he would figure it out. He you would get think someone so? to sell it for him. He can't even yeah, figure he just, out. He can't figure out basic like how to do basic stuff on the internet, like run an emulator or anything you just like call that. A realtor and somebody online would say how? sell the How's house. How's he gonna call? A, he's got internet connection, right? Okay, how's he going to call them? Use a, a, a Skype or something? He'd have, to, he hold it. he'd have to buy like a Skype phone subscription to call. There's no way to just call online? Nope. No. To like, to make a call, you need to have like Google Voice. It's like a subscription service. Is Google he Voice he, not free? No. No, you have huh. to. Is it free? I can you call like Pretty any sure. number with it? Yeah, he could do IP chat relay too, voice oh to chat. Oh my god. Do that for free? But he he'd be able to get a hold of a realtor, a realtor would sell it and then he'd blow all the money within like 6 months. He'd shanty and rev all the money. Uh I'm going ex- to I'm going to respond to Taddy test really quick here. It it doesn't matter because if you wanted to know how to use the emulator, you could figure it out easily. That's the thing. You're you you don't know how to use an emulator because you're not interested in playing old video games on your computer. Jared is, but still can't figure it out. Jared wants to be an internet content creator and he can't figure out how to do basic things to do that. His all of his videos that he records are in like 360p or 380p whatever it is. It's a really low resolution. That's cuz he can't figure out the settings to record his camera. So, like, him figuring out how to hire a real estate agent or whatever, uh, someone else would have to help him with that. Like, it's, it's you don't know how to do it, 
not because you're incompetent with it. It's because you haven't taken the time to learn how to do it because you're not interested in it. Jared can't learn how to do the things he's actually interested in. I'm sure. Sh- I'm sure Zoe would make an account and help Jared sell his house so she could take all the money. Like G-Man. Like, Jared, I'll tell you what. I'll handle selling the, the house, and I'll give you all the money. You just sign everything over to me for free or for $1, and then I'll take care of it. That would finally be Zoe getting the big fat W, though. She stole all Jared's family's money after they died. That's the that's the I don't know how right much there. money is in it. I don't think they own the whole house, but they might. Uh, I, I, the house is cheap from what I see, like how much yeah. they were asking for it because if it's they, in a, if they sold the old house, got rid of their equity and moved into a cheaper depends place, on how much possible. they depends on how much they owned of the old house. Really? Um, I don't know, because Jared always talks about how poor he is and how poor his family is and all that. So I don't know. They they could have only because they lived in a in a much uh, more affluent area. Jared always talks about Kingwood and how all these rich people live there, and how like a lot of people there were like super rich, and it's in, in the Houston metro area. So I I don't know. I would have to look up like the value of the old house. But yeah, they're older people. They probably bought the house early on when they were busy buzzing young workful people. And then all their money started to drip, and then they're raising a 40-year-old son they could have saved money on if they would have kicked him out 20 years sooner. Probably why they slowly got poor, slowly they had to move into a cheaper neighborhood. I don't know. I I I, I can't assume anything. I'd ha- I, I can look it up. I can look up the house and see when it was sold and like it has like the sale history and everything. The their their current house is like especially I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, let me see. What did it say? It, it, the current house is like one seventy k, right? But they're. I. I'd like to know like the Kingwood house value, like how much that shit sold for. Um, yeah. Uh, of course it's a fucking. It's a. It's a. It's a DP bot. Of course it is. A deep. We don't have bots. It's a DP burner account. Dude, that sounds like Brett Keen. He yeah. always used to be like atheists use vote bots to downrate my videos. Idiots. Idiots. Uh, let's see here. Here's. Oh, here's Mild Bill on the reformation of the Constitution Party. <laughs> Oh, look at him now. He's not sitting on his phone. You can hear him breathe. He breathes so loud. Hello, everybody. (laughs) I have been Constitution Party, well, pretty much from the beginning. I joined because I loved the platform. But I have been deeply dismayed that the Constitution Party has not been winning elections. Why? Because they do not stand out from the crowd. As far as I can tell, the Constitution Party has done its best to imitate the Republicans. Well, why would Americans vote for imitation Republicans when they can just keep voting for the usual Republicans that they have been voting for over and over? And that is the main reason why this country is in such a political mess today. I mean, they keep voting for Trump over and over. Don't you support Trump? If the Uh, Constitution Party wants to win the respect and the votes of the American people, they must break away from the politics as usual. What are the top concerns of the voters that the Republicans are ignoring? Well, for one thing, dirty line politicians. I suggest that the Constitution Party <laughs> be the, the first Pinocchio party in knows history to, know he's to lying. publicly require that any Constitution Party candidate who makes a campaign promise sign a contract that if they fail to deliver on that promise, they are subject to being suspended, no longer eligible to run for re-election as a Constitution Party candidate. That would make the national news and trigger the curiosity of the voters. Imagine that, a political party that does not allow elected officials to lie. Bribery is a major problem today in our government. The drug cartels and the Chinese communists have a lot of money to bribe politicians to keep the borders wide open. By the way, Jared's old house in Kingwood looks like they uh, 
They moved there in uh, 2000, so they lived there for about 21 years. Um, yeah. And uh, it's estimated that they sold it for probably around $300,000. Or hold on, no, no, no. Yeah. They sold it for, yeah, uh, 294 thousand dollars and not or yeah two hundred and ninety four thousand dollars uh and three hundred thousand yeah 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 around three hundred thousand they had to they had to change the price a little bit but they only dropped it by like five thousand dollars um so yeah and to sabotage this nation in every way so how much of the new house they own depends on how much of this house they owned uh and it looks like it doesn't say how much they bought it for in 2000. Uh, um, so that's that's the tough part. Like if they bought in it at a way 20 lower, years without yeah. any mortgages, forcing the Patreon super chats don't work. What the heck, man? What the heck, man? Super chats don't work. I don't know that the Constitution Party require random drug testing and forensic polygraphs of any Constitution Party member who was elected to public office. That would get media attention. Imagine that, a political party that actually takes action to stop government officers from being bribed and blackmailed by the Chinese communists, the drug cartels, terrorist groups. Another serious problem is corruption in American courtrooms. The Constitution Party should have a judicial review board to monitor judges and prosecutors and to take action against those who violate constitutional law and their oath of office, referring violators to for impeachment, prosecution, and possibly disbarment. Imagine that, a political party with the courage to actually stand up to corrupt federal judges. That is what the voters want, and the Republicans won't do it. Dirty judges are one of the Democrats' favorite weapons. Let's take that away from them. Dirty judges the are one of the Democrats' child abuse favorite is now weapons. A major problem for American Let's take families. away judges. Sexual We've taken away some Democrat judges, and what happened? They're starting to take away uh. abortion rights. Version is being rammed down the throats of American children by public schools in all 50 states. Montana authorities recently I don't like him talking about things being rammed down children's throats because the parents refused to let her be That's sicko talk. I, it is weird when that's that is the weird analogy that they use. I'm like, can't you kind of Is there a better way to position this? <laughs> is there a better analogy? That's and sicko talk transgendered. from these sickos. The girl was then taken to Canada against the parents' wishes. Lord knows what's being done to that girl now. And the Republican... Okay. In Canada? He's she getting free health care, for God's sake. He's painting a very nasty picture. What can I say? The party is silent. Wild Bill is a pornographer of the mind. Yeah, this political pornographer should be a LARPing as a cowboy. America's number one champions to defend children and families from government-sponsored child abuse. Now, the Constitution Party claims to be founded upon Christian principles. Well, every major problem this nation is facing can be traced to walking away from our Christian heritage. It's time for the Constitution Party to demand. Nobody cares about the Constitution Party. Like, I've literally never heard anyone else talk about it aside for Wild Bill. I wonder how many members it has. Probably like a couple hundred at most. They're, was Ghazi Kozo involved with them at all? No. No. Okay. No. He's been, Gazi been Co so many weird co crossovers. That America's Christian heritage be once again taught in all public schools. Are we dedicated to the principles upon which the USA was founded? Or are we just another political party timidly trying to not rock the cultural boat? Well, I'm not only ready to rock that boat, I'm ready to smash that boat and to take American politics in a bold new direction. Honesty, integrity, and courage. Not really a new direction. That's what our founding fathers Did he say practiced. a nude erection? But sadly, yeah, that's those what he said. He's totally a sicko, Ben. 
the Democrats That's what he said. and the Republicans. What a sicko! It's time for the Constitution Party to plot a bold new course, and it better happen quickly. Trumpster Bob, Bob was right America all saying, along. Think about wow. it. Wow. He lived with another man. That makes you gay automatically. Wow. He lived with another man. I got yeah, one. I live with it. I live with another man, but he has a wife and child. Wow, that's some sicko stuff. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bill's Front Porch. The legendary aircraft carrier, the USS Enterprise, is being decommissioned. And somebody said, it's a shame that a grand ship like that should go out so quietly. A ship like that should go down in combat. And I thought to myself, are you kidding me? Who said that? The fact that the USS Enterprise... I think this story is made up. ...is being peacefully right? decommissioned is a tribute to how effective her presence has been in preserving world peace. Damn it, I thought this video was about Star Trek. You're ruining, Bill. The bad You're ruining. Ruined. China, Russia... He's doing this video from his porch. Yep. I think he's missing out on an opportunity to name this segment Porch Honky. How about Porch Junkie? Huh. Because he's a coffee junkie? Yeah. Iran, North Korea have never been able to build effective aircraft carriers. I credit that to God Almighty blocking the efforts of evil nations to wreak havoc on the world. God do Our be blocking the efforts of evil nations. Oh, God you do be doing that. Porch honky. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. And submarine <laughs> force. Porch hunky. Are unmatched Porch by honky. any other nation. If the USA was as evil as liberals like to claim, the whole world would be burning. Our United States well. Navy is still the most powerful <laughs> peacekeeping force on Earth. Let's pray that Joe Biden does not succeed in turning the USA into a godless dictatorship. If you're not a country with heavy U.S. military occupation, you are burning. <laughs> yeah. If the most powerful military in the world loses its moral compass, World War III will not be far behind. As a Christian American, morality has nothing well, to do with it. <laughs> and I think there might not there might not be a World War III because for the last seventy years it's been America bullying the tiny countries that just want to have their own sugar gasoline. God for what the U.S. military has meant to the world. When disaster strikes anywhere in the world and masses of people are suddenly homeless and wounded and starving, they say, hold on, the Americans will be coming. And usually the first sound of rescue is the sound of American military helicopters loaded with food and medical supplies and United States Marines to keep the wolves at bay. One guy at our weekly fellowship said something about the world hating America, and he was soundly rebuked by several world travelers, me included. I've worked me in included. Af sex tourists, Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean, <laughs> and everywhere I went. He really has strong sex tourist vibes. Yeah. He's always wearing some leather and some stupid fucking uh, tchotchke bandana bullshit to show off what he's into. He's a fucking sex tourist, 100%. He rides it on his motorcycle with assless chaps and just gets plundered by big old freaking MAGA bubbas. People treated me very well because they knew I was an American. Families in Korea and Indonesia and Haiti invited me into their home for a meal. I credit much of this goodwill to the influence of American military men and women spreading good old American- Haiti sounds like a cute way for him to describe the, what he thinks of minorities. Neighborly is the kind of guy who thinks hell divers is set in a democratic paradise. Because it is. Hashtag for super earth. <laughs> Super Earth. Damn. Wherever they went. Those young people from Missouri and Montana so and Florida were mostly raised right. Thank God flaming liberal communist college students think that military service is beneath them because they would definitely bring shame upon the USA. So I salute the USS Enterprise on her well-earned retirement. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching. And America, bless God, again. Where's the regal redneck? She get away? Is she the one that got yeah. away? Yeah. That poor, that 
the poor woman, she had such a fun time hanging out with mild Bill and hasn't came back. Did he not offer her betrothal? I don't Did know. Did he not do the Christian thing? He didn't know how to court that young maiden. Uh, by the way, want to remind everyone, we do a pre-show. You should check it out. Uh, I have it linked down below, but I'll link it in the chat really quick, too, so you guys can check it out. Because after this show's done, you can check it out. It's already there on the audio feed. This is one of many ways to get it. You can just follow that link, or you can look us up on your favorite audio podcast platform. I use Podcast Addict sometimes to get uh, various podcasts that I like on my phone. It's it's free to you. There's ads that run on it, but that just really helps us. Uh, it it really helps the show because it's free to you, but there's ads on it which get us paid. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the new emo Howling Wolf video, he like shows his ass, and then he pulls out he pulls his diapers out to prove that there's no shit in his diapers. And then he talks about, like, he, he just freaks out about how he was accused of uh, using scripts, which is like, okay, I don't understand how that's the worst accusation ever, but he acted like it was, like, the worst possible accusation anybody could make. I can't even read! Yeah, 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 that was his, that was his clap back at that. Just like uh, when he was like, I don't sit around in dirty diapers all day. There'd be shit all over the walls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, his his meltdowns are, I, I can't help it. They're incredibly funny to me. The meltdowns themselves. His regular streams where he's just kind of sitting there blubbering about whatever I'm not yeah. too into those, but when when he freaks out and like calls people maggot with an F and b b takes his junk out and starts like waving it in front of the camera and all that, uh, he's just he, the disproportional amount of anger is what is funny to me. He's an extremely gross rage pig. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I we need we need to have like a gross rage pig wrestling league. Ooh, that's gross. Or MMA, like a pig and league. shit. Um, Instead of mud wrestling, it's just actual a, a vat of shit they wrestle in. Yes. Did you see? Uh, did you see the leaked footage of when CM Punk kind of like roughed up Jack Perry? <laughs> no. Was it bad? I mean. Okay, so CM Punk did a podcast where he kind of talked about what happened before he quit yeah. AEW, and I guess they thought they were owning him by, like, AEW released the security footage, and it... I Basically, what happened was because CM Punk couldn't get along with Hangman Page and that whole clique over there... Yeah. Tony Khan created a whole separate show mainly for CM Punk that was going <laughs> to feature people he liked and got along with. And he was going to be like kind of the booker and like the main, the top guy on that show. But then yeah. they, they already, when they went over to England, they, they already went back on that and had Jack Perry involved mm. and Jack Perry, uh, is friends with all those people he was feuding with. God, so let's so, split the locker room so they don't fight. Yep. And and then what happened was so CM Punk's like the top guy and kind of the agent, like the agent basically. And Tony Schiavone comes up to him and is like, "You got to do something with Jack Perry because Jack Perry's freaking out and cussing everybody out." You know. Wow. And. Uh, and CM Punk goes to Tony Khan first is like, you need to stop this or you're not going to like how I handle it and nothing gets done about it. So this is CM Punk confronting Jack Perry backstage. And Tony Khan said he feared for his life, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you can see uh, Aubrey right there 
Girl Hebner. Samoa Joe in the back. Yep. Yeah, Girl Hebner chilling. And there's CM Punk talking to Perry, or or is that Dick Masterson back there? That's wrong that I want to see now, emo Jack Helen Perry Wolf is Luke Perry's son. The wrong guy and get knocked on his ass. Oh, that would be great. That should happen. He just does it at home, though, so the chances of that happening are low. But yeah, it's uh, it's the son of uh, it's the son of Dylan Luke McKay Perry from nine hundred two one zero, which is like most of our viewers are too young to even know who that is, but some of them will. All of our baby viewers. Yeah. So yeah, they're 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 getting. It looks like they're about to kiss. They're getting so close. That's CM Punk with the jacket with the three X's on the back, for those of you who don't know. Yeah. And the long-haired three guy. Three X's. Yeah, that three means... Three X's he, means he's straight edge. I was going to say, that means if you drink him, you'll get really, really drunk. Oh, he's a bottle of fire water. Yeah. I, I love how everyone's just kind of watching, too. Samoa Joe's getting a little close. Samoa Joe's like the only ah. person there who's capable of stopping this. <laughs> Like, physically capable of stopping it. Jack I wish... Perry oh, there it is. There it hair. is. Okay. Oh, oh. God. And he puts him in, like, a chokehold here. And then Samoa Joe has to stop it. <laughs> and then I think he hit him, too. And then they're, like, getting... They're pulling him off. Wow, that, that CM Punk is a menace. Yeah. So there's that. But it kind of didn't this is what make happens, CM Punk though, when look you bad. Let the fucking, this is what happens when you let them inmates run the asylum. Shit like this is going to happen. Yeah. The stuff like this happened in WWE all the time, but there was always like one or two guys that would bully everybody into like regretting ever doing it. There was always consequences. They'd yeah. have wrestler courts. Yep. And this is this is what happens when everybody is well, like a VP because they're not getting paid. It's, it's when the boss is a mark and everybody's friend and not the boss. Yeah. You know, like obviously we know Vince did some crazy shit, but as far as like the authority figure there, this kind of shit didn't happen because they had like an ultimate authority figure there. You know. Yeah. Um, and Vince, Vince would be up for. You probably get a, a a promotion if you pulled something like this in WWE. Vince would be like, "Oh hell yeah, pal! I like your gumption. Here's well, a here's a title run." But don't grab his <laughs> arm because he'll he'll fire you. Do you remember that? Yeah. Like someone grabbed his arm and he was like, "Ah, get the fuck off me!" Was that Titus O'Neil? Yes, it was. He got fired like immediately <laughs> after that. Um. Yeah. Uh, I, I and then was, CM Punk leaves AEW and is having one of the without the even wrestling he's injured stabbing Sid with scissors and no one cared <laughs> right? it was just boy yep. being boy. it's true <laughs> that was where the big boys be boys <laughs> and now CM Punk's in WWE he's injured and he's having like these, this huge career resurgence yep. from the in injured li list yeah. he's he's doing very well it, it make and then AEW releases this to try and counteract the Wrestlemania hype and it makes them look like goofballs yeah it just looks like he He's the tough guy, like, ruling the locker room there. You yeah, know? Tony Khan needs to just sit back, do his coke, hang out with the guys, and let somebody else run He things. should hire. Yeah, he can still be buddies and have control because yeah. he's the money guy. But, yes, he should hire yeah. a manager to, like, to like a president of the company to handle all of this kind of stuff. It'd be great if he hired like the Pinkertons to run the backstage area. <laughs> he should hire someone with experience, you know, like someone who has a track record of success. It's hard if you're if you're the guy that makes the calls and you're not the guy that like runs the show. It's really hard to hire somebody well, that's, who, who's not going to get over on you. That's why there were under like Vince had his underlings like Pritchard. Uh, you know, and like the the greatest thing Tony Khan could do is offer Paul Heyman half a billion dollars that would to be come big. in and run the show. <laughs> I also see Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette is the kind of guy. I mean, but the the thing about Jim Cornette, though, I like Jim Cornette, and I agree with a lot of stuff he says. But I'm also old, not as old as Jim Cornette. But Jim Cornette wants to go back to like nineteen 
early 1980s NWA is yeah. what he would Cornette, do. Cornette's not the answer for AEW. He's not manipulative and cunning enough. He hates AEW, he, too, by the way. He is not yeah, a fan he's not of the it. Guy. Yeah. He's not the guy. Paul um, Heyman comes in there. Give him as much money as it takes. Let him do whatever let he him wants. Let him turn it into ECW. Have, <laughs> yeah, you have a contender, but he's going to be able to do that in WWE now. He's going to be able to run shit with Netflix opening up. It's about to get interesting. You know, uh, I was because my birthday is coming up in a couple weeks, and I was, I yeah. was, I was looking up famous people who share my birthday with me. Um, yeah. And the first one that came up is Mr. Beast. Me and Mr. Beast have the same birthday, and then I noticed hey. both uh, Kevin Owens and Owen Hart both share a birthday with me. Wow. Yeah. The only one I can remember, oh, I, there's two I can remember, Alfred Hitchcock and Fidel Castro. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, Tito, the, the former president of Yugoslavia, I share a birthday with him. <laughs> yeah, I need, I, yeah, I hope there's a day where Mr. Beast is like, I'm going to give a million dollars to all these people who share a birthday with me. That would be amazing. Much, I wonder how much money he could give to every person that shares a birthday with him on his birthday. I mean, there's a lot of people. break that, himself. I mean, like yeah. every person, there's so many. Well, there's got to be like what? How many billions of people? Divide that on average by like 365. There's like, like 8 billion people, 9 billion people. Because people are born every day. You know, like. Yeah. So there's a you lot of probably people. probably on average divide it by 365. Maybe if he just gave it to every American. We're looking at maybe what a million Americans with that birthday. I have no idea. I, I I'm sure there's people out there that have crunched these kind of numbers. I'm not sure. Yeah. Even giving like even even giving just the Americans with that birthday a thousand dollars would probably run him a billion bucks. You to could do. do it. He could do it for like people born on February 29th, and that'd be a little more practical because it only happens. February 29th. It could he could do people born the same year and day as him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably pull that off reasonably. Yeah. Um. <sighs> and then there were a bunch oh. of people that I share a birthday with that were like TikTokers and shit. It's like I don't give a fuck about this stuff. <laughs> you know, like I barely cared about Mr. Beast. He's just like the biggest YouTuber. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, so. Yeah. Just an I wonder how idea. many people share a birthday with you and go around saying I share a birthday with Ben. I'm nobody, nobody, <laughs> which is fine with me. I'm fine with that. We just had Jeff Jeff Holiday just had his birthday last week and then Adam has his birthday coming up on the 14th. Yeah. yeah. Big time birthday boys. Uh, we're going to uh we're going to wrap up the show in just a minute here. Um I'm still booking actual mania mania. <coughs> For our Patreon show, I was originally going to do a Patreon show tomorrow, but things lined up weird where I, I had to move it. I, I, I was trying to start doing Patreon shows like one earlier in the month, but it's not lining up right. So mm. I moved it to the 19th um, and then Actual Mania is on the 26th. Uh, I was thinking about experimenting with private shows, not on Fridays, but Jeff and I share the same birthday. He's exactly seven years older than me. Here's some money. Thank for you. The tip train. Okay. We're so close to 50%. If anyone wants to just push us over the line. Somebody to get send in $4 and 72 cents. That's right the minimum. Now. Yeah. Or you, right can do the, now. or you can do a 12er for the. Uh, <laughs> right now. Um. Ah. <sighs> quick name your favorite pirate i don't know long john silver all right Good uh answer. my least favorite seafood restaurant though 
<laughs> you ever eat at Skipper's? Was that a thing? No, we had we had a thing called Captain Billy's Whiz Bang. What? Yeah. Hey, Zap Rosedower shares a birthday with Pamela Anderson, and my uh, my hand shares a uh, almost a name. I called her Palmula Henderson <laughs> when I was a child. Got him. Got so she was trained. We're over 50%. Big titties. Wow. Fluffy kitties. So, wow, someone saved an old menu. This was like a, an institution in my hometown. Um, and someone saved one of the old menus. From Cap'n Billy's Whiz Bang, Ohio. Was there a reason why the fucking menu looked like a bomb? No, no, it's it's a it's a treasure chest. Ah. Oh. So and it f- unfolded into the menu. That looks like a bomb. It, that it, looks like a treasure chest. Well, that's that that was the back of it. So this is the back of yeah. the treasure chest. Yeah. Good looking fucking menu, actually. Yeah, I know. And this is probably from like the 60s or something. It was around for a really long time. I share a I with s- Nathan Bedford Forrest. It's gone now. The it doesn't exist anymore. I guess that's neat. <laughs> I shared a BJ with the founder of the KKK local chapter. <laughs> We're the Flying Elvises, Utah chapter. The one cool thing about getting BJs from the KKK is they make the white stuff come out. <laughs> hey, damn it! I, I wish I would have had that like ready to go. Hey, make that white stuff come out. Jessica's here. still streaming, by the way. Speaking of the white stuff, oh yeah, she'll be streaming for nineteen more hours. Yeah, what the hell? Oh yeah, her stream has been going on. Well, it, once it hits twelve hours, you can't go back any further, right? I don't know. I think. Yeah, it, it, when I look at her stream right now, it says she started streaming on April tenth. And that and that goes by my local time zone when I look at it. So, yeah, it's at least nine and a half hours. Yeah. Well, it says she's been streaming for like if I go back to her stream, I can go back twelve hours because that's the most uh, you can go back. So a big part of this stream won't even be saved. Uh, I don't think. Right. Like once it goes over, I thought tw- they save it, but I thought you can't. I don't know. Maybe. The the first DP uh, twenty four hour show never fully processed, and I had to like break it up into segments and re upload it in four different parts because the full twenty four hour show, if I go to it, it's still processing. Some bullshit. Like like six years later, <laughs> it's still processing. It's ridiculous. All right. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for helping us get to fifty percent. Uh, we, we appreciate it. I'm probably going to do like an, like an afternoon stream here tomorrow. So check that out, uh, for the earlier stream and we will be doing another show coming up here on Saturday. So check that out. Oh, also a week from today, I got us a really cool lineup coming up on the, on the 18th. So it's going to be me, Billy, and then we got Smarty and your favorite son on. So a full panel of four. That's going to be a fun one. And for some reason, right before Smarty comes on, something crazy always happens in the Cobraverse. So, yeah. (laughs) Smarty or your favorite son? Or, yeah, did I say Smarty? I meant your favorite son. Yeah. 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 They're the same guy, basically, right? Expect something huge. (laughs) <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Good night. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants From the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants Drunken peasants peasants.